kind of glad that they couldn't hear us though for the for my short amount of time commentating the last game of your set. I, I had very little to say. I didn't have anyone to bounce off of. Hello there. Hello, chat. Okay. Well, uh, if you're if you're can in the, they see the chat. Yeah, like we can see. Chat? Yeah. All right. Awesome. If you're in the Chicago area next week and uh, in Brianna November, um, you guys should one Woo. sign up to Out of the Blue. Oh, we're tired. Yes, please then go then Out also, of the Blue, please. Also sign up for next week's Mid Lane 100 big yeah. event. Yeah. We we're gonna have a billion people here and a fifty thousand dollar cash prize. Oh That's a little bit of a lie. Like, you got Better, it. Uh, Make sure to pay your union dues. If you can't come, you should sign up anyways. And oh, just I make sure that. to let Kevin know. Let Tenassi know if you can't come, you should sign up anyways. Sign up anyways and, and DM Tenassi, tell him you can't come. Just pay your union dues. That's what I do. I've done this like maybe three or four times I where I, I signed up oh, and I'm like, I can't come. I Oh, that's me. So we, uh, we got for tonight. Yeah. Um, we have Skurzo in the building tonight. We have I saw Diogo in the in the bracket as well. Fluid, obviously, played against them in pools. I, I almost took a game off them. I was I almost took a game off them. I was really really uh, proud of how I played. I've uh, I've been having controller issues though, and it's like, what are you that's gonna do about it? That's a bad controller issues. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Canceled? I've been missing L can I've been missing basic stuff like just movement. It's it's really upsetting. And I mean, I took um, I took a game off of Killboo and Pools, which I was really happy about because in the first game, like there was a, uh, we started on Yoshi's and there was like three points in time where I just like put a C stick down input. I didn't put that in there. The controller did that. <laughs> My hand was nowhere near the C stick. It was face buttons only. Like no, 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 well bad. the first game didn't work out for me, but I did that. I did take the second game. Um, there was some like uh, uh, theory crafting for like um, like plugging your controller in so that it would hold down a little bit like always. <laughs> I don't know if anyone <laughs> actually does that. I know like I've, I've definitely heard of that. About that like you know, probably like probably like seventy of you at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Seems like uh what are the what, 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 B is about to begin. People call it jaywalking now because they're jaywalking. Is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah, jaywalking, man. You're just like, you're just walking up. And you're also disobeying the law. Disobeying the law? Yeah, jaywalking. Oh! A little double on top. Oosh. Went right over me. How many people are, how many people are signed up tonight? Like 30-something, I think? Uh, yeah, about 30. Um, might Cause, be 29. Because it was like 6 and A, 6 and A1 and A2, and then what, 7 and 8 for B1, B2? Oh, really? Okay. So I think so. I, I should, should just yeah, check bracket again, honestly. Peanut Fog is a bit quieter than 3XO, but that might be a mic placement thing. Ah, more than an audio level thing. Yeah, make, make sure it's uh, up in your mouth and whatnot. These mics are, I mean, this one, it kind of falls, so. Let me great. readjust mine. Love it. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. I also love the... Uh, speaker setup they got. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Tenacity once more. Our uh, head TO brought, I think, six different speakers around with him like all day, going to school and whatnot, moving around the entire city, just carrying speakers all day. Damn, that's that's, that's our GOAT. Tenacity is our GOAT. That's my GOAT. What does this bracket look like? We got Ferocity, Perfume, Meadow, Eye Water. Niragami, Gerby, and Marcy in B1. And then in B2, if I hit the right one. I didn't hit the right one. Do you know who the meta is? No, but I saw them mentioned in the Discord. Uh, we have in B2, we have Skurzo, Geogoat, Ashley, Sandman, Disc, Stargazer, and Plaid 2. Plaid 2 or Plaid 2? How do you spell Plaid? Like, I think it's like that. Like PLA I think it, is, ID? it looks like played. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Stargazer. Did I miss that? No, I didn't. I just went over myself again. Yeah. Skirts at mid lane. Box of chocolates. No. Box never, of chocolates? You never know what you're going to get. 
you ever seen Forrest Gump? No, I definitely have. Okay, but that's, I, that's it's not like, my quote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember that scene. That one's, uh, you know, like I've been movie. thinking about uh, <laughs> Fantastic Mr. Fox recently. Have you ever seen that movie? I haven't, actually. That is, I've heard it's good. I've you gotta it's watch good. it. It's so good. It's, my, it's probably Gump, my favorite like movie of all time. Forrest Gump? Yeah, I mean, very, like, vanilla, popular answer. I mean, it's not a bad answer, I think. I th quite frankly, I think it's a good answer to have. Yeah. Forrest Gump is a very good movie. Um, but you definitely have to watch Fantastic Mr. Fox because both, both of those movies, to me, are kind of like of a similar vein. Um, although, you know, completely different mediums, but I feel like uh, something about the way that the titular character, Mr. Fox, goes about things and the way he acts, the way he interacts with people comes off almost Forrest Gumpish. Okay. Um, it's like a... Or like not claymation, it's stop motion like for sure. Yeah, cool. um, it's made by. I want to say it's this. No, it couldn't be. It's a Roald Dahl movie. If that if that helps, if you know that author, James and the Giant Peach. Okay. Um, Matilda, I think. Uh, Wes Anderson. No, Wes oh, Anderson. Wes Anderson. Well, no, yeah, Wes Anderson's the director, but the story is adapted from a Roald Dahl book. I'm pretty sure. Um, what's another Roald Dahl book? I said James and the Giant Peach. I said Matilda. The Big Friendly Giant's another one. I haven't read in so long. <laughs> I barely read nowadays. The only reading I do in uh, Melee. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. If it's not League, it's Melee. If it's neither of those, as of like the last month, it's been Baldur's Gate 3. Have you ever, have you heard of that game? Which Baldur's Gate, yeah. yeah. yeah I have, I've, I've heard of it, I haven't played it. I finally finished the game like two or three days ago. It was like 156 hours Damn. on one file, and it's like it, the Just game has so much replayability. Right? It's multiplayer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's single and multiplayer. You can play how you want. You know, it's definitely worth it. Great studio. Uh, the devs definitely care a lot. It's a passion project with like six years to make. Beautiful game. Really, really good. Like the story is really, really good. Um, Start playing a uh, big robot, Armored Core. Oh yeah, that's the that's from the same people who made Elden Ring. I forget their yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Software. From software, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never played a From Software game, but I played that. I'm not even right, like into like mechas, like big robots, but Ooh. maybe now I am. The yeah. Game is sick. That's From Soft can do that. I think there's there's very few th studios I think that can like just bring you into a genre. From Soft is definitely one of them, though. Yeah. Yeah. Elden Ring also. Yeah, Elden Ring is a fantastic game. I never finished it, but I, never I got it, close. It's on, it's on the list. It's I got really close, long. and then I started playing Melee more. Yeah. I, <laughs> I actually am such a slacker. I'm like, not slacker. I mean, it takes a lot of play commitment. Don't too many, uh, like, modern video games, really. Yeah, you gotta stick to the classics, too, right? Yeah, Oh, I miss that split screen era. Oh, yeah, I started playing CS2 recently as well. I mean, it just came out, like, a couple days ago, I think. Yeah, uh, they just dropped it. I think this time last week, they just dropped it on a Wednesday, no warning. They just deleted CS2. Yeah. That's just crazy. <laughs> right? Like, one of the most popular games of all time. They just deleted it on Wednesday afternoon. Yep. No one That's Valve. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> That's Valve. Valve. It's like the most Valve thing. I opened up, uh, I was opening up uh, crates or cases. Oh, no. And, uh, no, no, no. They got you. <laughs> no. I got a couple purples. I got a pink. Uh, I heard something in my right ear tenacity, if that helps you. It's kind of like coil whiny. Is it okay? It's mostly in my right ear, but it's good. Yeah, I, it's good enough. I, I can't it. fix that. I All good it. then. It's for. Uh, are you guys starting? You guys can start. It's a scary zone hat. All right. Okay. We're about to get into our first game of Wave B. You wanna okay. So this is. Oh, wait. You two can't hear each other now. No, I can. I can are you sure? Can oh, you hear I me? can hear you. Okay, this is fine. Okay, I, I, I hear you too, so. Yeah, so, um, I had to make it so that there's a little out thing, like right below them, there's a little like output thing um, that gives the players audio if they want to put their headset, headphones on. And that wasn't working. So now okay. you're going to get, the audio sounds fine for me. Whatever, it's yeah. fine. Um, Do they have a speaker? How many speakers did you carry today? I bought, uh, I bought, 
12 speakers and I brought them all to school and to work. And Shit, that's our go. That's our go. Uh, Shout out to Tenacity. I spent $130 on it. So please go to my regional. Come to Out of the Blue, too. And also come to Mid Lane 100. Yes, come to Mid Lane 100 next week. Kelly Smith is coming next week. Kelly Smith? Oh, you guys do have to play, yes. Kel's the goat. Oh, Kel's? Um, That's Kel's name? Yes, Kelly Smith. Kel's okay. Kel's is going to be here tomorrow. Uh, next week, I mean. Oh, yeah. All righty. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. All right, I guess I'm solo commentating. This is a Fox v. Fox matchup. Um, Ashley's the orange fox. Gerzo is the vanilla fox. I wonder if they'll ever do a salty sweet again. Vanilla fox don't suit you. Go find another. Shout out to Chillin' Dude, pioneer of the uh, orange fox and vanilla fox meta. Ooh, what an edge cancel. Ooh, unfortunate miss on the ledge dash. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm not even playing. I made sure to shower and put on deodorant. By the way, if you come to mid lane or out of the blue, make sure you shower before you're coming or that you're at least clean, right? Get, wear deodorant as well. You know, the, the new melee community does not need uh, stinkers, uh, so to speak. I'm a, I'm a little sweaty for sure after playing. Still sweating a little bit, honestly, but you know, that's just, that com that's part and parcel of uh, playing this game, I think. It's a very sweaty game, this 20 year old children's video game that we play. Very nice follow-up from Ashley. Even stocks, Ashley down 50% though. Skurzo taking that lead and extending it just a little more to 80. Shine taking the stock, two to one. You know, one of my favorite things about this matchup too is uh, seeing foxes play like Marths do. And that may not make a ton of sense. Oh, a taunt coming out, double taunt. Triple taunt. Wow, that's a bold taunt. <laughs> and the D-bag, too. Oh, what a shorten. Oh, the Nair misses. Skurzo giving ledge. Yo, you want to commentate? How's it going? That's, uh, you know. I don't know any of the information pertaining to that, so. Starting game two. I just said this, but I'll, I'll repeat it for you to hear. I really like watching Fox v. Fox because I get to see Fox players play like Marth players. That's right. All right. Uh, so welcome to mid lane. I am Cadence. I'm jumping on for a little bit. Um, I'm assuming this mic is hot. Uh, yes. We're watching a Fox. So do we know who won game one? I believe Skurza won game one. Okay. So the Fox that was a little volatile. Um, Skurza is almost certainly playing red. No, Skurzo was playing uh, vanilla today. Okay, it's very confusing. Um, Does Skurzo usually play orange? I'm going to say yes. Uh, I don't think I'm watching the, enough Skurzo Then the to Ash say. tag is confusing me. Uh, but whatever, we'll just assume white is Skurzo. Okay. Um, so, I mean, honestly, if you just watch a little bit, you'll figure out pretty quickly. Uh, Skurzo uh, is extremely good at placing these really quick unreactable back airs um, and will actually tech chase. So what we saw there, I think is probably white. Yeah, I'm gonna see, yeah, I'm gonna see Skurzo's white here. Even though my eyes are clean for some reason. Um, yeah, but the thing is, that's not, you know, that's as accurate as, you know, our guesses sometimes. Uh, especially at a Fox show. Well, let me see if I can watch your controllers and see if the inputs match one or the other. I actually think it's it might be white. Um, okay, now what? 
No, no, Skurzo definitely just taunted. Wait, no, I'm even more confused now. I think we'll just ask both of them when they're done. Ooh, what a short. No, if we're doing our jobs as commentators correctly, I think we should be able to figure this out. I, I want to say white is actually screwed up. Just based off gameplay, but I'm going to sound really silly. Uh, oh no, I mean, he's all pissed off whenever white dies, so maybe. This is literally can happen more confusing. It's like, is, is the art of tags just telling us what it is? Um, historically, Skurzo is red. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say Skurzo is red. Change my vote. I have no idea what to think anymore, honestly. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't know if they're playing entirely, like, entirely seriously right now. Um, but they're having fun, which is, you know, it's all about. Honestly, I think the fun factor is what matters the most with this game. Others will disagree, but you know what? I'm just, I like playing this game. It's a, it's a fun game to play no matter what. Good or bad, because, you know, even if you're getting comboed, it still looks cool. All right, two hour percentage, just pull C-stick down. Uh, this is looking pretty close, and so, is that, okay, so then it's a game three, that means, I got a feeling the score might not have actually been accurate. Um, Should we it ask is, them? It is accurate now. No, we'll, we'll, we'll let it play. It's not a big deal. Um, this is just pulls, and I don't know if... Yeah, I'm going to say Skurzo did not change colors. It actually does play white. So it'd be really weird for them to just swap colors. To be confusing. Yeah, I'm just going to assume uh, they are... I think I'm team white, Skurzo. Uh, I'm team red. Um, we'll see, though. Do you want to put five on it? I don't... I don't <laughs> Money match the color? I'm not a gambling <laughs> person, even when I know I'm right. Um, that's fair. I'm not going to force you to gamble. That's like, they're, they're, they're using each other's names as their tags, which is a next level of uh, being adorable, I guess. Um, yeah, like I was saying, like, uh, Skurzo's extremely good at these, like, really quick, unreactable back airs. Um, and, like, actually gonna go for a tech face. Oh, what nice movement back onto the stage. Unfortunately, getting hit once and losing a stock because of it. That little thing right there when the foxes get on platform and light shield might be, like, my least favorite thing in this game. Why is that? Uh, as a Falco player, it feels like I can't really contest it, even though there's almost certainly a way to contest it. I mean, you have a projectile, which is a start. I made a YouTube video all about it, actually. Um, there's an absolutely counterplay to it, uh, especially when you recognize which side they're facing. You can actually do different things based off of that. Do you want to plug your YouTube channel? Uh, we're getting a live report, live pedestrian report, that uh, please, first of not throw. Elo is on the line. This is not a game. Gio really needs this. <laughs> yeah, anytime. Um, uh, I mean, if you guys don't know, I upload a bunch of melee videos um, on my channel, but I want to watch this combo, to be honest. It was starting something with that forward air. It was looking good. Oh, that laser. Somehow made it back to stage. You know, I think... Given off the player reaction, I think Skurzo might be red. The colors changed. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I was like telling you. Like the score can be misleading because first time I was in a score is human like we are, and it, it takes like a lot of intuition to know that Skurzo lost the first game. Oh my um, God! Did you see that laser? Yeah. Also, Skurzo. Well, it's no strange to place lasers in a pretty disrespectful spot. Um, Skurzo's That's going it, it's the last stock game three. Uh, knowing these characters, both these players are honestly pretty volatile. Um, definitely seen them both participate in happy hour tonight, so anything goes really. All right, so if I'm Skurzo, I'm, I'm not approaching anymore. I'm gonna fade back. And uh, make sure you don't put yourself in a compromised position. This is gonna be awkward if it actually takes this. Skurzo back on stage for free. Oh, you probably there. Get back here. Oh my lord. Get slide off, get slide off. 
Okay, that could have been an up air. Ooh. Terrible ledge dash. Ooh. Great Jordan. That should be it. Oh my god, just up air. That should almost That beggar do it. should take it. Unless Skirts up this something crazy. There it is, I think. What? Remember, the jetpack attached remember, to Fox. Remember, this is the white fox that. Hey, fun fact, both these foxes have beaten Jayla. Uh, it's something that you may not expect. <laughs> oh! The candle! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this match makes zero sense. Uh, controller on the floor, and Geo's Elo in shambles. They hook it out. Ashley, you wanna play? And Geo is the, Geo's the real leader here. Ashley taking game three? That was nuts. I, uh, I've only had one drink tonight, but I still have a hard time believing I saw what I saw. That kind of felt like a dream. Yeah. Low-key sandbagging just a tiny bit. That's neither here nor there. Uh, the thing is, is, like, they're both really good players. They're both they insane. Um, they're so good. And the thing about mid lane is, like, this is round robin pulls. They're probably both going to make it out. Oh, they're definitely. It's, like, I think four advance to uh, gold bracket today. That's it. Geo is in. This is Geo versus this Ashley. Pool. This, this pool is completely stacked. Um, Geo, the only person we've seen on screen not with a GMF win. So we'll see if Geo can string together something here. It's okay, Geo. I don't have a JMook win either. I need to ask Scurzo when it's uh, time for my for my for my Scurzo win because I feel like now I can ask for it. Okay, um, so Geo is really fast, but arguably really defensive. Um, I would say like a lot of like. Ooh, giving up ledge. The long swings we're gonna see here are from like getting a hit and being really quick off of it, like right there. Yep. Yeah, but Geo's not gonna approach it if not necessary. Sort of like a neutral player, or a more neutral player. I uh, I would say like an opportunistic player. Mm. Oh, that could have been something close. What a beautiful up tilt. Oh, the extensions Incredible keep going. Combo. I would not think to link uh, a smash there, but that must have been the perfect percent for it. Um, and now I guess like this could be a better pulse. Like how well is it actually playing? Because that Skirts match may not have been the best barometer for it, um, but I'm pretty sure Geo is not gonna hold back at this point. We don't have our PR yet, do we? Uh, I don't think so. I might be wrong about that, though. It's interesting that Geo's already worried about Yula. I'm pretty sure, like, this has to be, like, a fresh start, right? Has the new season? You know, I think the new season has started. Maybe the 1st of October might have been, like, the first day of the new season. No, that doesn't even sound right. I mean... The way they broke up the PR this time around is kind of weird. It's, it's in like trimester, so who knows. I started playing uh, Slippy Ranked again. Oh yeah, how's that going? Uh, I climbed like, <laughs> what was it, I think 250 points in like a day or two. Awesome. Uh, from bronze three to like silver two or three, I think. That's still impressive. Like you, you have to beat some like pretty okay players to get there. Uh, no, I think it was, I was falling more victim to my own play than the people I was playing against necessarily. There was definitely someone who I played against who was not a bronze silver player. Um, they definitely came off as like a plat though. But I think that's that just happens sometimes. You know you can look this information up. Like if they come off as a plat. No, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really too bothered by it. I'm just gonna keep grinding and you know, I'm getting semi coaching from Mac Daddy. Been playing with him quite a bit. Um, He's been teaching me a lot about how to play neutral, helping me uh, do some bot review. Checked out, uh, I don't remember what the tournament was, but it happened not too long ago uh, that he went to, and he made me watch some in some Imdur sets. Um, and it, I'm not gonna say it fully fixed my neutral, because I'm still, you know, I make mistakes, but it definitely fixed a lot of the problems I was having, I'll tell you what. Sure, you also play Captain Falcon? No, I play Falco. Okay. Uh, I've, been, I've basically been grinding against Sismarth. Mac Daddy's time. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is awesome to hear. I 
play a little bit ranked, but I honestly, like, it's just kind of stressful. What is that? Waiting for an up smash out of shield. Couldn't get out of there. Um, Look at the shield turn into an M&M. Okay, so I do like this counter pick by Ashley. This is like a stage where if you want to throw off a more defensive player um, or a more reactionary player, you definitely can do it here. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, like, she has quite the punish hand. They're wow. really giving Ashley a hard time. Geo just went crazy. They're still going. Okay, beautiful it, shine it grab. It keeps going! Ashley getting out with a shine. Geo is moving right now. Wow. wow, the double shine. Oh, okay. Geo's the candle. Randall helping out a little bit. Not able to capitalize on it though. Wow. Okay, yeah, Ash is being uh, taken on a little trip here. Around the stage in 30 seconds. Ooh, is that a phantom back here? That yeah. was definitely a phantom. That is a very zealous. <laughs> It's very zealous up smash. I like it. That's uh, exactly what I would have done. If I was <laughs> All right, I'll do it at two. Oh, um, I'm glad you kept that one together. I don't know. Maybe the next Chicago Thunder feed game look is hard to say for sure. Here's some hard shadows. Um, Geo Mook. They should team together. Have some big house doubles action. Yeah, are you going to Big House? No, unfortunately not. Uh, I so will be at Out of the Blue 2. Sign up today. I don't know yeah. the link. I think it's startgg slash blue. Not 100% sure. You should join the CLM Discord and uh, check because Tenacity has definitely posted that in the announcements tab. Or just Google it. Like, Google it too. That works. Out of the blue, it will come up. Um, I guess I have a couple hours left, but if anyone out there of our... Um, 20 or so viewers wants to team with me at Big House Doubles, I am still available. And I can be very offended if no one wants to team with me. So Team with Cadence, they're good. Do not all, don't all uh, DM me at once. But yeah. Um, but yeah, how's your night going? Oh, I can't complain. I uh, took a game today off of Kill Blue. So I was, I was happy about oh, yeah. that. That's, yeah, that's it was, really, it was a close really, game really three really as good. well. I almost took a game off of Fluid. It wasn't nearly as close, but I know that my neutral has improved just from the way I played against Fluid. That's progress. Indeed, and I'll take progress over regression. Last week when I came, um, I played against someone like one game to warm up and then went straight into pools, drowned in pools. Then I played against the person that I warmed up against, lost that one, like 0-2. I felt so bad. It was like, wow, all this training that I've been doing and I come back to bust her out. Feels bad. But you know what? I'm here again. The grind never stops, and I did better today than I did last week. That's that what it's all about. Exactly. Um, I did get a word that we are getting love story and ferocity uh, up next. I don't know if this is all the same pull. If so, it is the craziest pull I've ever seen in my life. I think that might be B2 as opposed to B1. Yeah, I think that's B2. Okay, cool. Um, or no, they're, they're B1. The, the Skurzlo, Ashley, and Geo go have all been B2. Okay. Uh, Blowfish asking, is Farik get the Donkey Kong? I couldn't tell you. I do think that Love Story is going to stay cheek and is going to execute his game plan he's been working on against Peach. Um, that said, I don't think that the Donkey Kong cheek matchup is like totally free. I had to play against Phoenix Kong today. How'd that go? Oh, I shouldn't have lost it, but I did. What everyone says. I mean, what are you going to do? Falco, you know, fastball. You get hit by a ton of up airs. It happens. You, you lose a specific neutral interaction, you get grabbed, and that's just how it goes. You can't do much about it. You just have to DI and hope that it works out in your favor. Yeah, I uh, I was told that, like, there's a tech chase on Donkey Kong that is, like, reactable and reasonable. I found that not to be the case, and I uh, got embarrassed. But it's okay. I think we, I hear it, Peach. Uh, so Blowfish, I'm with you. It is sad. However, I I still think there's a chance that we do see a Donkey Kong. Um, especially if it's a blowout one way or the other. I need water. So do I. 
I can feel like I've been feeling my throat get drier and drier. It doesn't take much talking for me to be like, all right, I need a drink. Uh, Do you want me to get us water? I mean, if you don't mind, I'd be very thrilled for that. No, I don't mind. I'm, my back is sweaty. I hope the chair doesn't look too bad. Do not look at the chair. It was sweaty before he sat in it. Where's the eye water when you need a pot? I thought eye water registered. What's up with that? Um, all right, so what is new in the world of Chicago land? So there is Kilroy coming up this Saturday. I will be a part of it. I'll be commentating on Twitch TV slash Mango, which is exciting. Um, we have quite a few good competitors. We have, ooh, that cutie. Um, Sorry, I was, I was looking at fluid. Um, yeah, uh, Love Story's gonna be there, Shrews is gonna be there, Ash is gonna be there. Basically, all the people you just saw, so I think Unsure's posse, uh, which means we'll probably get like a Dragoid, maybe a Q, and a bunch of other really cool Chicago players. Fluid, how are you doing? Great. Just showed up. Uh, you enter? I entered happy hour. So yes, I did. Um, I did not enter. I'm actually on a baby melee break. I won a tournament that I've been my mission for like a couple years, and I finally won it. And now I'm like at a place where I'm just going to enjoy melee for what it is. And I'm still playing a lot, but I'm not going to stress myself out. Oh, I drank the poison water? Okay, here, 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 here. That's the one with the poison. Um, they call 911. What up, mid lane Saffron? Wow. There's something more engaging than chatting with someone who's in the same building as you are. Honestly? It's already game two, halfway through. But I rather you guys look at me. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's still hand warming. Getting a quick button check, making sure that they know what buttons to press. Um, yeah, and you're not even gonna watch. Also, like between you and me, if you XO. Should have played basketball. He's like six eight or something. I feel like I'm like a tiny person compared to him. Um, yeah. In other news, uh, I have a kind of low key, but I have a show Thursday night. I'm commentating on Mango Stream Saturday evening, and I actually have a show Sunday night as well. So I'm actually pretty busy. I don't know why I'm here. I just heard there's a microphone and a happy hour, and that's enough to get me here. Um, you're gonna take my word for it, they're not playing it. Ferocity is not here yet. Ferocity is not here yet. The voices inside my head are telling me not to do it, and that Ferocity is not here. Um, that would explain the hand warmer. Is he like not in the building or is he just like, oh, I see him just chatting, having fun. Does, love, does, does Frosty even know we're waiting for him? Locus, get your boy. Sorry, I have a, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I hate group chats. Um, I'm in a lot of them, and they're the noisiest things ever. And like one out of 50 messages are really important. 
and you look like a complete ass if you don't uh, respond correctly. I'm about to get over there and start whipping Luster's ass out. This is taking forever. All right. So now we know why. Uh, looks like uh, Frosty's a little Mai Tai getting his drink on. And yeah, uh, it's too sweet. All right, so I've been thinking about this match a lot. I do think down tilt is a particularly devastating move in this matchup. If you were, I guess for both characters, but honestly, if you teach, um, it is often worth giving up the stage or a little bit of stage to get that opening. Because so much of this matchup is like catching Jeek while we just love you. And if you're able to hit a down tilt, you're gonna do it. And like, it's hard not to do a combo that does like you know, 25 to 30 percent. My kill commentator is back. Uh, sorry for the delay. I guess I probably could have plugged more relevant things, but yeah. Um, I'm on YouTube, Cadence Plays. I am working on, I don't wanna say my biggest video yet, but it's, it's gonna be it. Um, if anyone ever saw my Mario Kart Double Dash video uh, that I already collabed with Ludwig, um, it's a successor to that. So you guys are in for a treat. I'll be sure to watch it. I just spoke to Saffron outside about uh, some of the matches I had earlier. Yeah, how'd it go? It was a nice talk. I think. I hope. Saffron, can you confirm? <laughs> now, Saffron is one of the most pleasant people to talk to in our scene. So. Very much so. Very, you just get very calming, pleasant personality. All right. So, I know that Perfume is extremely hungry, aka Love Story. He's extremely hungry for this. Um, I believe, uh, I guess like this like stream early will tell us that uh, they both taken games off each other. So it's not completely one-sided. Although I would imagine Frosty is probably a little more favored. I've seen a lot of uh, Frosty Twitch streams kind of recently. I shouldn't say a ton, but I've seen them on social media a lot recently. Uh, I saw a really weird interaction with Parasol, I think on Twitter yesterday. Very, very weird clip. I have no idea what was going on. Parasol, oh my oh, god. Parasol, wow. Parasol in general is like a really weird move. Um, I've been asking players if they understand when Peach's upbeat has lag and when it doesn't. And uh, I've gotten many wrong answers from players who are very confident. So I'm not surprised that Frosty figured something else out about the Parasol. It, it okay, was, good trade. It was more so like a visual thing. I, maybe it is something that. FX hitboxes, I have no idea. <laughs> Ooh, what a, what a turnip. Okay, so it looks like he can't punish there. Doesn't Ooh. get it there. And yeah, the up stack is not so good against a peach to down smash. Down smash is so scary. Oh, the backer just barely not reaching. All right, this isn't too much of a lead yet. However, it's like getting really close to the point where it gets like, very annoying to get through. Is this game one or? This is game one. Okay. So usually when you play against box players, like there's certain things you look out for. Um, like uh, the two or so ledge dash positions. Um, but let's first have to look out for other things here. I do like Love Story attacking uh, Frosty's shield from the front and the back. Angling shields are, is a little bit more awkward on a box. So I wouldn't be surprised if it worked out pretty well here. Um, yeah, and then like, honestly, Sheik's down tilt is super, super good against Peach, as long as she isn't crouching already. Going into like the crouch cancel animation is kind of slow. So if she's not already in it, it's pretty easy to land without tilt. 
you know, that's something I don't think I've ever considered is like how fast each character crouches. Oh, it, it takes a little while. And like you get a mini bonus for just holding down when you get hit, but you don't get the crouch cancel bonus unless you're fully in a crouch. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll start realizing that crouch canceling is not as common as you realize. Like it's very telegraphed usually. Mm -hmm. It's great for a uh, missed tech situation, especially if you're Captain Falcon. Or if you're a spacey and your opponent hasn't gotten up and you're low percent, you can go for that crouch cancel last smash or down smash. Yep. Um, there you have plenty of time. Okay, solid edge guarding. This is for Fume's opportunity to get a comeback. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to get follow-ups on this platform here. <coughs> Yeah, and now at this percent, it's getting a little bit trickier. We're gonna need a, like a straight hit, maybe a jab. Um, okay, finally. So forward air. Yep, that takes it. Uh, Sheik down smash is completely punishable with uh, wave dash out of shield. However, it requires a bit of bravery and like discipline to get it. It's not something that you're gonna get about practice, but I am certain that Love Story has done it before. Ooh, wow. That's tricky. That tricked me. Rossi does such a good job of like Ooh. commanding stage uh, slowly by slowly, and we just see Ferocity get cornered. Um, or not Ferocity, or Love Story get cornered by Ferocity. Ferocity's a very, very methodical player. Not necessarily cerebral, but well thought out for sure. I'll be honest, uh, Eric, so people say that we're cerebral, don't know what it means. You know, I can't give you an exact definition, exactly. but the best connotation I can come up with is that they're like deep in thought. All right, we work with that cerebral. Um, PPMD's these trades portion are of metagame is cerebral, if you will. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Ooh. That's like that, that means nothing to me. That's like saying Armada's game plan is proc bot. Okay. <laughs> If Armada's game plan is crockpot, then my game plan is definitely crackpot. Lovely back air. Uh, actually, Love Story survives it at a lower percent. Um, not here though. Okay. Uh, Ferocity being uh, very observant not to drop the stitch. However, uh, there's an RNG component to dropping the stitch. We don't get there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I would do for a fair, honestly. I feel like it covers a little bit more than these moves. Ooh. And, uh, ooh, okay. That was that at was least tough. one solid hit with the stitch. I was gonna say like we have an even game if it wasn't for that stray stitch hit. Okay, trade. Yeah, like Peach just so like Peach will be happy to trade with Sheik. Peach's dash attack really scares me too. In my opinion, I I really feel like Peach's dash attack is it's not the best dash attack in the game. The wow. Most relevant. Oh, look at air dodge. I have never seen that before. I would assume you have to up for it, but if you have the air dodge, it's actually not a bad option. Every time I come to mid lane, I see something. Oh! Every time I come to mid lane, I see something new. 69% on the on the screen. Not for long, unfortunately. Okay, no, uh, no jump. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Very tricksy. Wow, I, the needle. I do not like Ooh. that. Like, there was a world where um, Peach had another opportunity to live. Wow, what a light shield, too. Light shield's dangerous against up beat because you just incur a ton of lag. Lucky he doesn't get punished for it, though. You know, one of the things that Mac Daddy has been telling me to do while I'm playing is to slow things down. And I think a lot of what Ferocity does in terms of the way that he plays is almost exactly that, slowing it down, so to speak. Um, not to say his inputs aren't fast, but uh, the way that we saw Ferocity walk to the right of the stage approaching Perfume just a little bit ago is almost entirely indicative of that kind of ethos. Okay, beautiful double back into a grab. It's a ton of damage. And we had a pretty even game until... Um, Alright. No opportunity for an offset there, I don't think. Gonna grab ledge there. Pull up. Wow. 
It's, it's a little bit tricky at that percent. Because um, you also have to worry about, like, she just hitting you on the way back. Now they're both just kind of spamming moves, but honestly, if we're going to come down to spam moves at each other, I put my money on Ferocity. Last stock, I don't know, this is a solid lead by Ferocity. Um, I mean, by Love Story. Uh, but I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. unfortunate misinput, I think. The idea is you land on stage. Um, Love Story very loudly proclaiming that he'll ban FD. And we have the crowd behind us sleeping at the wheel. We're sorry about this game. I think I know it's might late. be a little bit tired. Well, hopefully you guys aren't. Here we are, game three. Color switch coming out of perfume slash love story. So that was a kind of a trap. If, if you were to Ooh, wave dash out of your shield, hit. you were going to get hit with the needles, but... Um, okay, so this tech case is kind of real. Whenever you have, like, cheek semi-cornered, you have a lot more reliability on the um, Ooh, what okay, a Okay, these platforms are really doing work. As a former cheek main and now peach main, one of the big differences you realize immediately is that, like, there's not that many good stages for Cheek. Because like typically this is like Cheek's second best stage. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of characters, it's also very good for them. So it makes it kind of awkward. Um, the server catch actually making it a little bit worse for Frosty here. I'm glad one of us knows about this matchup because I know very little about both of these characters, I feel. Uh, my, my brain is like 50-50 on this. Um, I feel like maybe if anything, I probably know a little bit more about Sheik because I've played against more Sheiks than I have Peaches. Uh, Peach is definitely my problem character, I guess I could say. Um, definitely the hardest, or the character I have the most hard of a time with. Um, you know, I don't really understand people complaining about Jigglypuff, as Spacey's at least. Jigglypuff has an X Factor, but it's not like any of the other characters in this game. Well, I mean, Jigglypuff also has, like, the strongest move in the game. That is uh, probably, like, the best comeback move. So I, generally it's stressful, but like everything else is fine. Um, wow, that shouldn't connect as far as I know. However, Love Story uh, tries luck and gets there. Getting a little bit custom with it. Not quite enough to, to take the stock. That forward air does it though. Okay, so one of the most annoying things about Peach, and we'll, we see this with good players and new players as well. Like, if you hit Peach away, she's not at a high enough percent. Her double jump gives her momentum, so you guys will trade, and then she'll just like whip herself back at you, and you're still in hit lag while she's not. Um, it's just something you kind of feel out after like losing to Peach a bunch, but even with like experienced players, it's gonna happen. That's unfortunate. Mechanical error. Uh, sometimes you try to thread the needle a little too much and you miss it completely. That it seems equally unfortunate what just happened. Here. Okay, beautiful uh, awareness to hold down there. Wow, it actually gets a cross up. Um, yep, sharking out the, the, the fall. And now the pressure's on. Off stage. Oh, sniped by the turn up. It's okay though. We're still gonna make it on stage. Love Story uh, smartly holds down. Oh, the, the jump is side. lost. I don't know where the jump is lost though. Um, I think that makes two of us. I don't know where the jump went. That was crazy. Um, all right, that said, I am going to take a little bit of a break as he's in the bathroom, and I was supposed to say hi to some people, which I realized I will never say hi to them here. Um, it was great chatting to you. Absolutely. Uh,
Have a great rest of the night, and maybe you'll see me again. Uh, but yeah, check me out at Killeroy, uh, TV slash Diego, and I enjoy the rest of the course. Ooh, someone's in trouble. Kevin's yelling. Ooh. Kevin playing? Is this Tenacity on stream? Aww. Ooh, my neck. I, your guess is as good as mine. It leans all the way back. Is there like a... Oh, the, the, is there the knob on the right? I don't know. I think that's supposed to be like a locking mechanism. Ooh. Yeah, see, I can recline it with this one, but that one, and it comes all the way back, but. Here we have Skurzo versus Geogoat. Lovely fast paced Fox v. Fox, Fox v. Fox matchup. Bold F smash from Skurzo. Will Geo get the ELO that they're looking to get today? Ooh, big open up. Ending in a trade 80 to 89 right now. Mostly even game. Ooh, Geo dropping shield for just a second. Wave that wave shot. <laughs> Unfortunately, not quite enough. This girl will take stock one. Ooh, that missed tech into up smash. Classic Fox combo, getting the stocks evened out. Ooh, that's a downer and a half. Shines everywhere. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright tonight. Skurzo and Geo. They're beautiful, shining like two foxes. Shine bright, fish ash. Two foxes, they're shining like a I don't know. I couldn't finish the lyric. I couldn't think of anything fast enough. Geo hitting a lovely back air. The uh, the uh, uh, the obligatory commentator commentator nice back air. They're coming out today. From one cow to another, we love this stream. Am I a cow? I do like to move sometimes. Sometimes I wish I was a cow, just so I could move extra hard after eating some grass. Oh, some, some tech action. That is a quick stock one from uh, Skurzo. You answering mostly in kind. Some lovely, lovely back airs. And that's the next stock taken. Things are almost even. Geo's only down 50, 60 percent. The candle. Still anyone's game, absolutely. That was a very unfortunate mis mistake from Geo. Skurzo coming with the taunts, as always. Skurzo extending the lead right now. That is 
a further extension on the lead from Scurzo. Scurzo is going ham. Oh no, that is a side B off stage. Well, this is game three. That was a very quick game. Gio is surely looking to clean up. Going back to Yoshi's story. That is a very zealous up smash from Skurzo. Ooh, wonderful shine placement from Gio there. Wow, what a sequence right there. Geo down two stocks right now. Still could be their game. Wow, the lightest hit of that in there as well. Lovely up smash from Geo, closing up that first stock. Gio on the board. Gio might have to start looking for these shine spike opportunities to take Skurzo to his last stock. This is quite the deficit we're looking at, a stock in 136%. Gio down to last stock right now. Getting some up throw combos. Ooh, getting the shine that Gio needed. That down smash was lovely. Like I said, it's still anyone's game. Oh, that might, ooh, not quite. Ooh, Geo holding the up beat for just a little to avoid that shine. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough. Skurzo does take game three. That was a crazy game. Really wonderful end. You love a lovely down smash, indeed. Down smash is a beautiful move. It's one of the best, uh, honestly, shines overrated, down smash is better. Might just be me, though. Definitely not a real take, by the way. Shine is probably the best move in the game. Maybe aside from rest. But, uh, you know, one down B to another doesn't really compare to a that smash. It's comparing apples and oranges, you can't really. They're not the same. Just me. It's me only. I'm in the center of the screen now. If you are around Chicago and you're gonna be in town in early November, sign up for Out of the Blue. Start.gg slash blue. This week is mid lane 99. Next week is mid lane 100. Be, be here. It's golden mid lane. If you're in the CLM Discord, you might have seen it. If not, go to the announcements tab. It is a golden emblem for mid lane. For mid lane 100. Down Smash does do more damage, yes. But, uh, 
I'm pretty sure you can crouch cancel down smash at some lower percentages, whereas Shine, maybe you can get a tech rollout, but you can't down smash someone off stage and uh, hit someone the same way that Shine can, unfortunately. At least as Fox. I play Falco, though, so those moves are completely different for me. Not so much down smash as much as it is Shine, but Shine you can use a lot more multi-purposed as a Fox player than you can as a Falco player. Shine is pretty much exclusively a combo starter or combo extension tool for Falco, whereas Fox Shine is like <laughs> almost anything you need it to be. You can shine back or off stage. You can shine spike someone. You can shine someone on and stage spike them. Falco can stage spike with shine, but only several stages. Shine is, yes, almost certainly shine is the best move in the game. Like, it, I can't think of many other good moves that are like that. Jigglypuff's down B, rest, right? That's another great move. Um, Marth forward air is another really, really good move. Especially dealing with Falco lasers, you can just forward air out of Falco and stuff the Falco's approach. Um, Sheik's Nair and F-Tilt. Sheik F-Tilt especially, I would say. Really, really good for starting combos and uh, getting extensions. Falco Dare. Yeah, Falco Dare is good, but there's a lot of situations that you would like to use it that you just can't use it. And I've been learning more about that because I play Falco and I'm getting coaching. Um, you just Falco Dare is a lovely... Lovely thing, but you just can't use it at all the points that you'd like to. Um, it's also, it, you use it too much and you become predictable. Um, also, Nair and back air are a lot better in, a, in different positions for Falco. Um, plus, there's, I mean, if you want to talk dares at least, uh, Marth has a really excellent down air as well. Uh, spikes in almost every hitbox. Um, Fox down here as well. It is a it meteors, but um, the hit stun that it has, and it's it's one of the best multi hits in the game. It's one of the only ones that really works, honestly. Who do we have coming up next? catching my beard. Hold on. It's definitely catching my beard a little bit. Hopefully this is a little better. Wow, hold on. Would appear pool B2 is complete. B1 is not quite done. There's four games left. They might be being played right now. That means it's almost time for a gold and silver bracket. Yeah, hop on. Been looking at bracket for a little bit. There's a couple uh, B1 matches still going on.
versus Kevin. We, I need Kevin to give me a match. Give us a match, really. I would love to see this game of Eyewater versus Ferocity, but I think they're already playing. I saw Ferocity just a minute ago, um, like, waiting on something, so I don't know if they're actually playing yet, unless they, like, just started. I wonder if I could see them. Use my binoculars. I don't really see anyone. There's one, two, three, four open setups. I think that's Frosty and Nightwater right there, so they're playing. Ah, uh, darn. Who else is there? Because there's at least three other games, and I see maybe one, two. That's Goose playing, so that's probably not Bracket yet. There's like maybe two other sets being played right now. I guess we just wait until uh, Gold Bracket starts. All right, how'd pools, pools go for you, man? Uh, better than I expected. I was expecting, honestly, to bust her out entirely, but I didn't. Nice. Um, I took a game off of Killaboo, <coughs> really happy about that. Uh, I almost, Goose, I, sorry. huh? Took a game off of who, sorry? Killaboo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, almost almost won game three. I was bringing it back. It wasn't quite enough to fully bring it back, but uh, still taking that game nonetheless was very, it was essential. It showed me that I growed. <laughs> I, I, uh, I played against Flute as well um, and performed way better than I thought I would. I really thought I was just going to bust her out in that set as well, but, you know, granted I did go 0-2, but I thought I was going to get double four stocks, you know, and it, it didn't happen, so I'm happy with that. We, yeah, we take those solid. games, you know, especially being kind of low mid-level. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, I, I was like, I'm starting to feel like a little a little better about myself. I'm pretty sure we've just got like a bunch of really, really good players oh, here. Oh, yeah, this know? is a like, really strong region, I think. <coughs> I mean, we, we have we have Skurzo in region, we have Mech in region, and those are both two like top 50, top 100 players. Mm -hmm. um, K-Blue is like insane. I wish I could give like better results but I just don't know them off the top of my head. Um, I know Ginger won out of the blue too, but we had some strong showings from CLM against Ginger. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, the peanut phobia really peanut that phobia. I always hear is that, you know, peanut phobia used to be the, uh, the best Yoshi in, in North America like before Amsa moved here. That's I believe that. Telling me. I believe that. Uh, I mean, just a couple mid lanes ago, Kevin's announcing something. Uh -huh. No more, uh, no more no friendlies, friendlies until uh, bracket is closer to being done. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's why I'm over here. Yeah, you just moved here, or oh, because no, no, you were done no, with friendlies? Done with friendlies. Yeah, no. Okay. I've lived here for like four years, five years, or something. Mm. I don't know. I moved here in 2018 for grad school. Mm. What are you uh, studying? If you're still studying? Uh, no, I, I finished. It was just a master's program. Mm. I know we got one guy here doing a PhD. I his name. No, no, no. I, I, I did a master's in AI. Mm. How's that going for you right now? I'm, I'm sure you've seen all the stuff with ChatGPT. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, um, so I'm, I'm actually doing a lot of stuff with that at work, but it's, like, mm -hmm. it's not as exciting as it sounds because I'm not doing any, like, actual, like, uh, retraining or, like, you can do fine-tuning for, for GPT, you know, to, like, to get it to work better in, in domains. I mean, that's kind of, like, what the deep left in Twitter bot is, you know? Deep Leffen is beautiful. Thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've been doing like a lot simpler oh. stuff with it for work. Oh, here's our... What a beautiful Ooh, thing. Who wow. made this? This is so good. Oh, look at this. Part the of it is obscured for us super, because of chat. Quiet. But is it, we have a... Uh, uh, is it like, is it everything? Is, is it, it our voices? Yeah, is it the voice or like the sound uh, of like the game or... I'm not sure how to fix that. Maybe we can get Tenassi over here. Maybe Tenassi knows more, because I know nothing. Mm. Geo versus Tom, Phoenix versus Fluid. I had to fight the the Phoenix DK earlier in pools. Uh -huh. I, sh I probably should have won, but I chose FD. We went, uh, I think, Yoshi's or maybe Battlefield for game one, and they put their Fox against my Falco. 
And then I was like, you know what, let me take us to FD. Expecting, personally, I was expecting to get up thrown, you know, chain, chain up thrown by Fox, but I got chain up aired by, D by DK. <laughs> I just like I'm I don't sure believe Ashley in, appeared to in be the first on the final destination, right man. Like you don't believe uh, in FD? No, Who no. Who do you play? Fuck FD. I play Sheik. That's, Sheik? that's why. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, <laughs> That'll do it. That'll I do win, it. I win no matchups there. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's rough out here for a top tier player. Hmm. Two Ooh. very strong foxes about to play on stream right now. Yeah, I played uh, played Ashley in pools. Uh, I think I might have played Unsure a couple weeks ago. We mm. got just like, uh, just based on my, my own experience on how badly they beat me, I'm going to put my money on Unsure here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got, listen, last week I played against Unsure, I got completely mopped. Mm. I got super turbo 2 would yeah. it, it was a pretty badass beating. It was uh, like, it was the playing against Fox moment where you're like, I'm, I actually can't like do anything against this character, can I? You know, it's like drill, drill, blip, blip, blip. Yeah, unsure will absolutely shine you blind. That is the definitely the type of player that he is. He will take every opportunity he can to uh, blip, blip, Tori you and uh, <laughs> make sure that you're off stage and shine spikeable. Very much so. He beat me so fast last week that we played a third game, and then he beat me again. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So Unsure's got the purple fox. Um, yep. I, I am it expecting this to exactly be Exactly that. We've already seen it twice. Running shine into down air. It's a very strong option. Ooh, great reset. Not getting a lot off of it, actually. I, I feel kind of like they're just... Uh, they're just kind of running around throwing out aerials so far, you know? I think they're filling each other out. Uh huh. Looking for an opening in someone's defense. Seeing what can be exploited, looking for patterns and whatnot. Oh, see, there Ashley it is. just got hit by like four or five weak short pot back airs in a row. That's a. Uh, yeah, look, look at the way Unsure is like approaching with that uh, with that short hop back there. See, look, there it is again. Yep. Uh, that is working for him, and I expect him to keep doing it until Ashley he, finds something the, out. The way that Unsure plays feels very chippy, but he's so good at racking up that chip damage that he may as well just be comboing you. Yep, yep. It It's just solid interaction after solid interaction. Yep. There it yeah, is. Wow. Unsure really, really just like, you know, they, they were feeling each other out for a minute and Unsure has just won every interaction since then. Yep, that is not quite exactly the, stock, though. That's the exact type of player that he is, though. He's he's very feely, very defensive, and uh, looks for the perfect opportunity to strike, making sure that all the damage he uh, tries to throw out is going to do something positive for him. If not by connecting and just getting raw damage, at least leaving him in a position where he's, at least leaving him in a better position than his opponent. Mm -hmm. Very weight heavy, very patient as well. Ooh, an unfortunate shorten. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to do anything. I don't think he was going to get punished on the full length either. I think that was just uh, still. Wow, power shield against the shine. <laughs> that is not something you see all the time, but it's always nice to see. Yo. Oh, we play? Okay. The stream is all yours, my friend. All right. Uh, yeah, until until I get I get called up for my match as well. Uh, okay. <coughs> so all right, I'll let you let you buy here. Oh no, something happened to my chair. That's all right, I'll put it back against the wall. Wow, we've really got like improved graphics tonight. We had a, we had a full head to head up there. Uh, Unsure has won the last several it looks like, uh, but it looked like there was an Ashley win in there as well. So not totally one-sided. 
straight into game two. Not a very not a very long break between there. And I'm curious if Ashley is going to have a little bit easier of a time uh, with the platforms here. Having the weird height might help against the uh, the uh, sort of like approaching soft back airs that Unsure was doing. Uh, and that, that was a big problem for Ashley. So I think she maybe is looking for, you know, totally lost that train of thought. All right, several shines with no follow-up. Unfortunate trade with the soft, uh, the soft nair for Ashley. I think she probably could have gotten the shine spike. Oh, very nice. Unsure once again with the very quick fingers. That was uh, that was supposed to be a fall through back air for sure. Unfortunate mistake, but it looks like oh man, that is insane to get it right at the exact height to just completely dodge that down smash. And what was a very close match, Unsure has been able to, has, uh, has finished out the stock and actually just has not quite managed. Now it's a full, I mean, over a stock lead, I guess, stock and a half. Ooh, teeny bit too far with the, with the up smash. Yeah, a couple clubs from Ashley there. I don't think that fair was intentional either. There we go. An up smash. The Fox Classic. Stand still for a while. Run up and up smash. Wow, it's even kind of awkward for Ashley to get down from these platforms. Good trade with the Firefox, or rather using the Firefox to trade. You get cleanly hit there, you can just die. Oh, that was so awkward. Unsure accidentally into the straight fastball and just like instant death. Oh, that's that's got to be a mistake. If you just hold ledge there, that's free. But Unsure cleans it up anyway. This is looking more competitive in game one. I want to see Ashley get something started. That up air looked like it could have been something, but she didn't get anything after. Just got the uh, the shine. Wow, this is a this is a lot of shines into nothing. All right, down to last stock. This is a, I mean, in a Fox Ditto, 48% is not much. Ha! Huh. Oh, <laughs> she gets it. Ashley goes for the cheesiest back air. Unsure dodges it at first, but then jumps straight into her cheesiest back throw. And then jumps straight into the shine. Pretty good comeback win. Uh, see, now here we're seeing a few more of those back airs from Unsure. A throw up air. Easy combo. Probably too, uh, uh, too close to get the SDI, you know? Yeah, Unsure just keeping on with these, these little bit of chips, or little bits of chip, just like 3XO was saying. This is looking a lot more like, a lot more like game one again. Oh, 
Oh, wow. That's a last second shine. I feel like I should I should complain about like Fox run speed and Fox privilege or something, but I'm just like impressed that you can hit that. That's no good though. Did not touch the ground, did not get a double jump refresh, and just dead. Yeah, unsure with the full two stocks here. Alright, Ashley's putting something together. That was a really good edge cancel. Wow. Yep. Gets the ledge if you aim for ledge with the uh, with the side B. That can happen. <laughs> Both of them stalling at each other. That's an excellent tech out of Ashley. And then gets a oh, another very good tech. Ashley's still fighting for this, but it will take a lot to. Oh, oh, you cannot be doing that. I'm sure he's absolutely ready for it. I can't believe that shine didn't hit. That looked like another stock gone for Unsure, and it would have been a last stock again, but here we are, that's gotta be it. 2-1 for Unsure. Uh, Ashley pulled out some actually really great, um, I don't wanna call them cheesy kills, but I, I kind of do, um, and like kept it, kept it competitive, uh, but it, it, I think we looked at like the actual amount of damage done. Um, Unsure would have done way, way more. Are we uh, are we still having audio issues? Yeah, it's because there's a way to do it. It's exactly what he told me. Okay, there has to be an out. You feel free to mess with it however you like. Huh? Feel free to mess with it however you like. I think. Oh, I was wondering how I was like, how I was sitting so tilted. I was like, you know, like I, I know my posture is not not great, you know, the uh, the traditional office dweller sort of hunch forward. Uh, but I did not think I was off to the side so much. It is the camera here. This camera is not perfectly flat. All right. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Close enough. Oh, wow. We're straight into the next one. So, unsure again. Looks like uh, round two against Fluid. And that is a mana kill. Man. So I can't actually see Fluid's end of this uh, of this head-to-head, -head, uh, but I can see that Unsure has uh, three, or like, okay, I gotta get back to the game here. I'm getting distracted. These are great graphics, though. Fluid trying to get like a, a tech chase with the Sopo, but not getting much actual damage off of it. It's kind of the problem with uh, with tech chasing. If all you've got is the throw, it takes a, a lot of correct, you know, guesses or reactions to actually get anywhere. It's a good air dodge and manages to SDI far enough out of, of that shine so as not to actually get killed by unsure. All right, racking on a little bit of damage. Um, this is, ooh. Just getting battlefielded down there. Oh, be careful with Nana. Hmm. Well, she, uh, she nearly died there, but she's still around, so. All right, a trade with the Firefox, but Unsure is back on stage again. I feel kind of like that was Fluid's opportunity to, uh, to even this up. Wow, jumps straight into the down smash and like, must have just been like holding down, probably trying to get a, a dare or something like that. Because that, uh, that was some awful DI. And 
Puncher kind of missing Nana, which is uh, an interesting thing to do because she uh, always does like the, the same thing. Wow. That is some excellent damage out of Fluid. Great handoff combos. Losing Wobbling turned the Ice Climbers into like re a respectable character. I am Plato too. Are we are we playing? All right. I hate to leave you all without commentary, but uh, yeah, later losers. Ha. All right, uh, I am Cadence. I've been requested to commentate two matches, no more, no less. Otherwise, my normal rate comes into effect. Um, so yeah, so we have Fluid versus Unsure, a match I've seen quite a bit. Um, though I have not seen Unsure play it in the post-box era. Um, I saw the word Malort in chat. I am no longer going to be looking at that. Um, OK, so Running Shine, oh my god, actually had a huge payoff. Um, Running Shine is like one of the many toolboxes that Fox will do in this matchup. It's like unusually safe. Um, and okay, so it looks like Unsure is just like solidly going for the plan of let's get rid of Nana as quickly as possible and then just play the one on one. Um, not too surprising, but I've always seen Fluid as like a very threatening uh, single climber kind of player. Um, still on crash percent. So I want to get Andrew absolutely blitzed. You need that MF with that call off work crunk. Coin, I'll be straight up honest with you. I lived with Andrew. I like to have a good time. It is not an easy ask to get Andrew, what you, what'd you say, blitzed? Um, it's, a, it's an achievement. It's like the, the less you try, the more likely it happens. Um, what's that? Oh yeah, who is this Fox player? It's just Andrew and it's just Fluid. So Andrew, uh, Unsure took game one already. Um, okay, Nana putting in some work here. Maybe a reverse psychology could work. I, I, I haven't really tested that hypothesis out. Um, okay, so Andrew kills Nana and then uh, gets out of being cornered. However, we have a nice little chase here by, by Fluid. Back to the good old days of commentating by myself. You know what, this is kind of my natural element. Um, I, I usually perform solo on Tuesday nights. Uh, did you win? But did you win though? You lost a banger. Damn. Was that bracket or pulls? Dang. Damn, I wish I was on stream. Uh, all right, sorry, I got distracted a little bit by a, uh, an, 
off flicker. Okay, so at last stock, platforms are all pretty standard, like a little bit lower than, than Yoshi's. Um, okay, an air dodge, th that probably was intentional. We get a jab reset, and now we see a hand up situation. Is this gonna be it? Uh, Andrew pressing, uh, mashing out at 120 words per minute and getting out of that grab. And now we have this weird, awkward split up situation. I don't know if Anna's coming back. She is coming back, but not for long. Uh, this is going to be an uphill battle, not for Fluid. Are we going to see a 2-0 unsure lead? Okay, good sharp air dodge. Calling out the fact that Andrew probably wouldn't settle on that spot on stage. Calls out the double jump and gets the up air. And uh, it looks like it is a 2-0. You know that situation when you're playing a game and like the game loads for too long and the screen goes black and then you see yourself? And then you see yourself in the reflection of the computer screen? You start reevaluating all your life choices. That's kind of what I'm going through right now. Because I was like watching this game, I was super hype, and then now I'm looking at my mortal reality. Um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, check me out at a Bug House Theater on Thursday. I'll be at Kilroy on Saturday. And look what the cat dragged in. We have 3XO, the real headliner. Um, Get in there, you good? Yeah, I just had a computer go sound, but I would have to beat game two. Which, you know, most people would say is not wise as a Falco player, but I'm a Falco believer, and I think Falco wins on that stage, and I almost won. I almost won. It was close. I had my heart racing. I had to step out for a second because my heart was beating a little too fast. I was like, I need some air. You know what? I can relate to that. For some reason, of all the stressful activities I do, the only one that like makes me like, whoa, I never had my heart beat this fast, is not like roller coasters, is not being uh, held at gunpoint or mugged. It is game two as I get two out by Luigi. It's like the most stress I'll ever be. For me, it's, it's not even just melee. It's any game where it's a really close situation and like the game is on the line or like the tournament. It, like my tournament is on the line or the win is, it's like last round or whatever like that that always gets my heart pumping no matter what game it, it's like I, I can't get that feeling anywhere else anywhere else it is and I don't want to say it's too loud but where's Skurzo on here uh do we forget Skurzo honestly catch Skurzo at the silver bracket um there's no way Skurzo was, went silver nah, is there who knows I mean who who won between Geo and Skurza? Pretty sure Skurza won that. I guess it is possible, though. Who knows? Um, not me. Oh, okay. So this is another fast one. Um, I was telling chat earlier, DXO, that uh, Tenacity asked me to do commentary, and I said I could do two more matches, but I, I need to. I can't stay too long. So right. Got me for one more. I need a. I need a charger. What kind of charger? Or well, I have the charger. I just need a thing to plug it into. Is that is we can unplug? We can unplug this thing. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I need to uh, be able to walk home with my phone charged. Hopefully. Oops, All right. Don't that. chat. Don't tell anyone we're stealing electricity. Yeah. Stealing electricity is based. It's not real. Neither is money. But you know it is real. The honor you get from winning a melee game. Well, what little what little honor there is from winning an individual game. But winning in tournament definitely feels a little bit like there's more honor attached than uh, just an unranked game or even a ranked game of Slippy. We have Geo on orange, I'm sure on vanilla. I feel like I'm so used to seeing unsure play blue. Uh, maybe it's been a while. So I, I have a good sense of how Unsure plays this ditto. However, I have not watched as many like box sets recently. Um, there's a couple things I can be looking out for. Like if when like whenever Unsure gets a knockdown, are we going to see a wait or are we just take an immediate follow up? Because Geo is the kind of player um, that will kind of test your execution and just follow up, mm -hmm. trying to like not give you time. And Unsure is willing to like wait a beat, see what you're going to do, and then go in for an up smash or grab. Yeah, the way I've seen Unsure play at least today is very. Not hit and run, but very chippy. Um, looking for like like the perfect opportunities to 
go in to get a couple strikes in. Ooh, that's a bad fade back, unfortunately, for Unsure. Um, but seeing what you can do to get in on your opponent and chip, chip, chip away. Um, I know the set that he had against Ashley was very chippy, but the chips were so frequent that it felt almost like a combo, even though a lot of it felt like it probably wasn't any kind of true combo. Yeah, and then like with Geo, I think we're gonna see a lot of like true combos. Um, Geo is just fast enough to, to pull them off. Mm -hmm. Another thing I've noticed that I'm sure likes to do is running Shine into Short Hop Dare as like a good opener. Wow, good call out. Um, basically saying, I'm sure I don't think you're fast enough. I'm just gonna jab you and interrupt your next animation. Um, and it paid off huge there. Ooh. A very scooping up smash out of Unsure there. Clearing out the stock, G was down one. My arms still feel kind of tingly from that match I had against Saffron, I'm not gonna lie. All right, uh, it's been quite a while since Gio has hit the ground. Um, nice back air. All right, so Unsure actually, I wasn't looking at the stocks too closely, but Unsure managed to just End stocks a lot earlier than you, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure it's kind of like the king of back airs, I feel like. I don't, like, I don't know of another fox that does back airs quite like him. I don't know. Maybe I, Cody. I, I watch a lot of Skurzo, and uh, if you saw his run last weekend um, at Cream City, you would have realized that, like, he quickly identified, or maybe he knew this already, that, like, uh, he's able to throw up back airs in a way that, like, his opponents are just not able to react uh, mm -hmm. to. So I would also put like Skurza on the list of like extremely proficient at using the back air move. Um, okay, so we saw just a, a pivot, like a dash pivot, reverse nair, uh, just something that you would see like players like Astral Page do. Um, I it would be probably better at like a bigger stage, but interesting to see. Wow. Okay, so I'm sure realizing that he was gonna get chased down, but despite shining, Gio managed to get a grab anyway. Kaden, I have to ask, how long have you have you been playing melee? Because you just mentioned uh, absent page, and you know I haven't been playing too long, but I'm pretty sure that's like more of an old school name, right? Uh, or not super old school, but like. So absent page is a player who, uh, like, got banned as I started playing. So I, I started playing the year Ultimate came out. Okay. Um, and that's when absent page, uh, kind of stopped existing. Um, and so I guess it'd be twenty. 18, 18? Yeah, 2018, like late 2018, going into 2019. Um, what about you? When did you pick up Melee? I picked it up during the pandemic. Uh, you know, Slippy released like a little bit before um, my birthday, and I was like, you know what? I barely play Ultimate anymore. The online sucks. This game has rollback now. There's no reason for me to not play. So I bought myself an adapter, and I started playing. And uh, God bless Slippy. Buddha bless Slippy. Whatever religion you follow, whatever god you believe in, or none if you don't believe in them, Slippy's the goat. Slippy, I'm not gonna say Slippy saved Melee, but definitely helped Melee a ton. Shout out to Slippy, Slippy's our goat. I mean, in a world that was like new to a global pandemic, like uh, Slippy could not have come at a better time, honestly. Most um, definitely. We actually had like very little pandemic without Slippy, which is like incredible. Um, now here's a question I like to ask people I want to ask you, all right, and be honest, when was the first time you ever executed a wave dash? Um, sometime between 2014 and 2016, for sure. Everyone says that. Everyone says, oh, I started with Slippy or whatever, and then I find out that they were playing PM or some bullshit 10 years ago, <laughs> and, like, and then like, they try to make me feel bad after I get whooped. And then I realize, wait a minute, you've, had, you've been able to play forever so my story with smash is i had melee when i was a kid uh and i played it a little bit but i was never i didn't know any of the advanced anything with this game and melee went out of 401k a 401k it's a retirement account how long how long ago did you start having a retirement account <laughs> if you don't mind me asking this is an awkward question but like a lot of full-time jobs they have a retirement account uh, program is, is just like 
any salary job, in my experience, tends to offer some sort of like retirement account. I, I feel very old right now. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna. But I'm yes. Gonna, so okay. roughly 2018, maybe or. Uh, it's got to be one. This is game. Three, this game three. This game three. This game three. It's specified though. So there's got to be two one then, right? I I don't know enough. I, I wasn't here. I think you know, right? My bad. Um, so I had Melee when I was a kid. Uh, Brawl came out and we got a Wii, right? So as one does, you get Smash Brawl. Um, and then we started playing, me and my buddies from elementary school started playing Brawl kind of competitively right a little bit before Smash 4 was announced. Um, and then when Smash 4 was announced, we started playing that. Uh, I never owned a Wii U though, so my practice was very sparse with that. Um, and I think the first time I played me uh, Melee competitively was in 2016, okay. but the buddy of mine who was really into Smash, he watched the doc, uh, and he got into Melee before I did, uh, like back in 2013, 2014, um, and he's been playing like all this time, and I remember we went to a tournament at uh, U Chicago. Uh, I had to go against Kells and Pools, and I had no idea who Kells was, but my buddy told me he was number one in the city right now, and I was like, awesome. I've never played this game competitively before, and I have to go against number one. Um, so I had that happen, and I think it might have been either at that tournament or a little before or after that I had my first wave dash, but I didn't really practice the game at all until after that. And I think 2019, my buddy used to go to Northwestern, uh, over in Evanston, and uh, they had a concert called Dillo Day. And it was there that I picked up Melee again uh, and tried to play against some of the people there. Didn't do great because, you know, I had no experience and I was playing against people with experience and I didn't know anything. But, you know, Slippy comes out and that's when I really started practicing. That's when I the grind really started for me. Awesome. So it's either 2-1 or 2-2. Two, two. I really thought that stadium game was game three, to be honest, but... Uh, we got a little bit lost in the sauce, but that's a cool story. And I think that says less about you and more about, like, Slippy. Because I know so many people who, like, never really got an honest or true start to Melee mm -hmm. until they had access to, like, good online play. So right. I, I love hearing stories like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, the little experience that I did have before Slippy was enough to make me not, you know, a completely basic player. I wasn't good at L canceling. I could hardly wave dash, but that's more of a character choice thing, I think, because my hands are still not really fast enough to wave dash with Fox con consistently, and that's where I started. Um, but, you know, I watched my buddy play all the time, and during the time that he was in college, he ended up getting like number one PR at Marquette where he used to go, and uh, he was at Cream City. He got top 24, I think. Um, but, you know, he's in the city. He doesn't really come to mid lane often, mostly because of work. Uh, but, you know, shout outs to Orange Soda, I think is his tag right now. Uh, he's one of my goats. He's uh, one of my best friends, and he is one of the people who helped me get into competitive Smash, period. So uh, just got to show some love to the homie, I guess. Oh, shout out to Orange Soda. That's a great story. Um, I just wanted to talk about, uh, so Geo is known for, like, extremely good wave dashes, and we saw an insane chase off of the ledge situation, um, turning a really bad situation for Geo into, like, actually a pretty good one. Um, and now we're seeing Geo kind of take this advantage even further. Um, part of me says this is game five, but I've had uh, I've had a drink, so maybe my perception time is a little bit wrong. Um, I came in the middle of this, so I am simply unaware, unfortunately. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll treat it as a game four, but not be too surprised if it's game five. I suppose we'll know after this game for sure, right? Oh, Kentucky Fried DI. Uh, let's see a GS corner pressure. Wow, lands an up tilt. Kind of like not the easiest move to land uh, when you're cornering somebody. Some excellent neutral coming from Geo there for a second. All right. Uh, Andrew kind of punishing the, uh, dropping the punish game a little bit. Wow. Wonderful way to jump time. from Geo. Unfortunately, not quite enough because Unsure gets the yeah, and shine And Geo is facing elimination one way or the other. Turn the stock. Okay, it doesn't crouch, which 
I would argue it's like a slight misplay. Okay, amazing Ooh. bait. Doing like a, a in place back air and stepping back and doing a forward smash. Ooh. Okay, that's still not the strongest move there. Um, if you're just grab. running out of the corner, this could be an edge guard situation. What do you do there? Oh, All right. I'm sure missing the angle. It, that angle may not be the easiest or most practical on a box. Um, Geo playing on a controller. And now we'll see, can Geo take it to the bank here? Uh, this Ooh. is Geo's tournament life. And uh, now it's Andrew's turn. Gets a jab reset at a pretty nice percent. Geo wiggling out one, to avoid the knockdown, which is kind of huge. Wow. Oh, the shine. That angle. How unforgiving is, is, is Shine off stage? Probably the most unforgiving move aside from like Falco Dare and Marth Dare. Oh, the power shield. Oh, wow. Get the grab and. Up smash is up not quite enough. Premature. Oh, but the back air is enough to seal it. 2-2. Two, two. That is a game five. Uh, Geo puffing and puffing like a. The venue is cheering for Geo right now. Like a fairy tale. Um, This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. The perfect communication. Did you get that early today? Just got it now. Just now? What's going on? They're, they were testing it. That was supposed to, I got that earlier today at like 220 or like 120. Federal, state, local, and tribal. And it's supposed to be the, the cricket wireless alert. Um, are you saying we're okay? No, yeah, we, we're good. They, today was like the day that they were going to test it. Uh, all right. Okay, uh, explosives are from Geo. Not getting a kill there. Wow, the cross up to avoid the up smash. Oh. Stuffing out. I swear, some like the auto attacks in melee, such as uh, get up attack from ledge and. Ooh, beautiful conversion. Uh, wow, really slipping out of the up air, too. Like the get up attack and like uh, get up attack from ledge arc, like so like powerful sometimes. Uh, I tested it. If you're Sheik and a Captain Falcon hits you with a get up attack of both sides of it, mm -hmm. it's actually enough to get you off stage at zero percent in the middle of that beat. Both hitboxes for it? Yeah, like if you get hit twice by a get up attack as Sheik and you don't crouch cancel it, mm -hmm. you actually get sent off stage in the middle of middle of that beat. Who's gonna win? That's fucked up. Um, so taking a look at the script earlier, um, let's be real here. I think we know who's going to win already. Um, no surprises here. Okay. Good wow. Tech, Good uh, coverage of the opposite attack. Bad, it Incredible. doesn't do much. Unfortunately, we're at the age where the opposite attack is less of a live forever move and more of like you might as well kind of situation. Um, all right. Geo down to the last two socks. I think last time I saw these two play, ooh, ooh amazing incredible. air incredible. Um, you see, I think this is where Gio wins the last time I looked, but. Oh? Insane power shield run up. Yeah, I mean, like, in this match, we can't be going for it on purpose. It's just, like, it happens because you were just in time. Uh, I'm sure still, like, a solid lead. Like, almost anything's going to knock down Fox at 50%. Wow. Okay, that was ambitious corner pressure. I don't love like falling up bears to hit someone in the corner, but uh, certainly Gio knows more about the edge guard than I do. When it works, it works well. I mean, I love it unranked, but I feel like Andrew commands a little bit more respect in the corner. Here we go. Oh. Huge combo. Is it going to end up in a combo video? No, not quite. That okay. is ambitious. I kind of like, you know, oh, as, incredible as jab a to player Ooh, who's down like really it. good at ledge dashing, uh, going for like a really bad ledge option. Because like, that's just not the one you cover usually. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm smashing, and we have a tied game. Oh, not uh, quite. Unless. There it is. That cleans it up. Oh. Even game final stock, game five. All right. Uh, corner situation. <gasps> that's it. Honestly, if uh, Gio didn't just completely screw up the ledge get up, then that, that is a setup for Fox to kill. Now we have a juicy opening by Unsure. Uh, no jump at this point. And now
now we'll see if Geo can keep Unsure in the corner and possibly push off stage. Uh, he's trying to just knock down there, which is annoying. Unsure being a little too quick on the trigger, but hitting the down tilt. Oh Ooh. wow, perfect spacing, waiting around uh, the ledge dash action, and Unsure takes it. Oh, fuck me! All right, children, please, earmuffs, earmuffs. Uh, this is a PG-13 stream. Unsure is certainly feeling good off that one. I mean, it really cool down to like respecting you at the ledge when it matters. Yeah. Right? Like, knowing that Geo is going to do something explosive off of Ledge Dash, and I'm sure covering the range that he did with the back air, uh, really kind of took the tone of the entire set. Geo almost felt like uh, they were rushing towards the end there, just using the shine the way that they did. Um, almost trying to get something kind of cheesy. Uh, Unsure, however, was able to stave off the nerves and maintain composure against the French. The French? Um, the cheese? The cheese. French are known for the cheese, I think. Maybe Italian. Never been? Can't say I have either. My, my coworker is from Wisconsin, and he would tell you that it's more Wisconsin than anything else, but you know what? That's neither here nor there. All right, uh, I have... I need to get off the mic uh, before I start charging my regular rate. Um, so <laughs> shout out to Midlane and everyone else here. Blowfish, I know you're sad that I'm leaving. Uh, but yeah, take care and don't go anywhere because we're going to get to more Midlane, Chicagoland Melee. Cut the stream. Okay, got it. All right, take care, everyone, and I will see you around. All right, take it easy, Cadence. Hmm? Yeah, more water would be awesome. Thank you. Okay. Huh. Oh. We have Killablue versus Frosty coming up. This is one of the matches I, as a Falco player, kind of struggle with, so hopefully I'll be able to learn something from this match. And you two at home, if you are a Peach player or a Falco player, you're going to want to pay attention to this one, because this is certainly going to be one that you can learn from. I do believe this is a hand warmer. Ooh! Ooh, pardon me. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Frosty is really good at killing off openings, but I think that might just be a Peach thing as well. Good shine out of shield out of K Blue. A lot of walking. Wave shines as well. I've been told generally to uh, roll away from Peach if you can, just because Peach's ground speed is not that great. But I suppose a float can get you there faster as Peach. Ooh, good near trade. Not quite enough to take it though. Maybe falling with Nair instead of down air could have knocked Peach off stage. Ooh, that is a unfortunate stage fight. Forcing the, ooh. Wow, that backer was very ambitious. Unfortunately, Frosty loses their stock to it. Ooh, 
that is some sliding if I've ever seen it. Ice skates on Falco's feet. Back air seals it out. Frosty up two stocks. There's the down smash again. Frosty is punishing almost every single whiff that has come out of K Blue. Wow, and K Blue unfortunately not able to make it back to ledge after the ambitious play of the down air off stage. Game two now. Perhaps uh, Killaboo will be able to get something given the stage. I know this is a Falco favorite, at least as far as my experience goes. Killaboo forcing himself into a corner. Frosty just capitalizing off that, getting a grab. Triller takes it. Frosty up a sock, but 100%. Wow, what an incredible jump from Kill Blue. Perfect timing, too, to avoid the down smash and get the kill. Oh, stealing that one real quick with the drop down. Jump back up down air. Two down smashes coming from Ferocity. Trading with the forward air. Game is back to even. Down air unfortunately missing for Killaboo there. Holding as long as he can on that shine to avoid Peach's down air. Rolling into the dash attack and losing the stock because of it. Ferocity holding a bob on right now. Uses it a little too soon, maybe. Peach bombing. Ooh, until the shine back here with surgical precision. That was incredible. The game's not quite even. Kilgoo's down 70% right now, but this is still anyone's game. Ooh, this is looking like Frosty's, perhaps. There it is. That down smash takes it. Kilgoo down 2 0 right now. Yes, the sides of the game are slightly cut off. This is for stream purposes, though. Going back to Yoshi's. Kilby showing a similarly strong opening as the last game. Waiting for the down the down smash on the platform. Staying in place with those aerials. It's a good mix up. Wow. Getting the Ooh, what a call out. Unfortunately. Not enough length on that uh, Falco up B, unfortunately. Our, our uh, little jetpack is not as fueled as Fox's is. Capable okay, playing around on these platforms between stocks, trying to avoid ferocity at pretty much every cost possible. Kind of playing for chip right now. Trying to avoid bad trades, which almost every trade is kind of bad for the player not playing Peach. Playing very slow right now, too. Missed the potential CC, but gets hit by the get up attack. Getting punished further for it. Ooh, the shorten was not quite long enough. Looks like the stock again. Oh, wow. Turnip taking the stock. That is an unfortunate 
set of circumstances, to say the least. Uh, as a Falco player, I feel very deeply for Killaloo. Uh, fighting Peach is not an easy thing to do as Falco, so all props to Killaloo for being as tenacious as he was to play against Frosty's very ferocious Peach. Frosty, any words for the stream? Uh, I love CLM. If you, if you didn't hear, Frosty said, uh, I love CLM. Shout out to CLM. If you are interested in coming to mid lane 100, it is next week. It's going to be CLM gold status. If you were in the Discord and you see it, hopefully you can hear me twice when I'm saying this because I want to get this out as much as I can. Also, uh, if you are free, I'm not 100% sure of the date, but out of the blue, two is coming up in November, early November, I believe. Uh, you want to register at start.gg slash blue. Um, I don't know 100% the cost of registration, but it is going to be a good event, just like it was last year. I highly recommend you all come. Uh, for those of you who are watching the stream, spread the word to anyone else in Midwest. Uh, it's going to be a nice, fun regional. Come by, swing by. It's going to be great. And if you can, uh, volunteer to help set up if, you, if you're able to. I'm sure that uh, Tenassi will be appreciative of it. Something wrong with the mic? No, I'm just talking with both. Is it bad? <laughs> Why am I a cereal killer? I do like eating cereal, though. I'll kill a bowl of cereal. I know that much. You know, I, I feel like I'm one of the few people who really, really enjoys Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran is my go-to cereal, so maybe that does make me a cereal killer. Not just, like, plain bran, though. I like the Raisin Bran with the oats, because that makes it a little more flavorful. It gives it more texture. Um, not a huge fan of Apple Jacks. Don't really like Fruit Loops. Uh, Cocoa Puffs are all right. Cocoa, but Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles, those are some good cereals, I will say. The Rice Krispie cereal is awful. It's flavorless, honestly, unless it's like Frosted Rice Krispie cereal, in which case that's a little different. Frosted Flakes are all right, but personally it's a little too sugary for me. Um, I just got a picture of Juan de Biedma with Hungry Box eyes, or with uh, Peach with Puff eyes on my, on my watch. That is quite the image to get. That is a that is a, certainly something that I've just seen on my on my watch. Um, this is why you never take Frosty to Yoshi's, I suppose. I mean, it's a it's a small stage, so it's not really wise to take anyone there per se. I think, but it does make for some fun and faster games, and I do enjoy a fun, fast game of melee. I like I like when I press buttons real fast and people get hit a lot. I like that. We have a uh, unsure coming up. Not sure who Unsure is playing right now, but uh, I'm definitely playing with two microphones at once. I'm feeling very gamer. Ooh, there's Bracket. Looks like it's going to be Unsure versus Ferocity coming up. We have Scurzo and Perfume and Loser side. Peanut Phobia and Fry as well. Um... I think they're going to be playing against each other shortly. Maybe not on stream. I'm not 100% sure. But I think up next for stream is going to be Unsure versus Ferocity. It's going to be Fox versus Peach. Same matchup that I'm sure I'll be able to learn from because, you know, Falco's very similar to Fox, although not exactly the same. Different shines. Lots of different hitboxes. Different utility. But still, because Fox is a spacey, who's also a fast bowler, I'm sure I'll be able to gather something. And hopefully you at home will also be able to gather something from this. Ooh. I didn't think talking would be such a... I guess intense practice. I've just been talking here at mid lane. Uh, and uh, not necessarily the more I talk, but I've been getting, uh, I feel my throat a little hoarse from all the talking I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not even necessarily a quiet guy, and I talk quite a bit at home, but something about this I think is a little different. It's performative. It changes things, you know? Ferocity has pulled up to the stream setup. Uh, 
you're discussing ports right now. It's gonna mess up stream stuff. So you know, that stream is messing up because that's not making your port one and sitting on this bed. Well, fine. It's fine. Okay. Alright. If it works, then it works. This is this is port priority gaming right now. Unsure has opted to slide to the right to uh, give Ferocity a different port, I think. This reminds me of an awesome sauce video. And also a set at Summit 10. I think it was Summit 10. It was Plup versus Zane. It's in, it's in the awesome sauce video. I'm sure some of you have seen that. Did you ever figure out what that parasol thing was that you posted on Twitter? Yeah, Practical Sash replied to me and said it was an Uncle Punch bug. Oh, okay. It's not a bug, but like an Uncle Punch safe state kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Parasol? Yeah, it sh he said it shouldn't happen in like a, like actual like land. Like Alright. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, Parasity posted a clip the other day on Twitter uh, with... The, uh, Frosty was practicing save states, um, and there was a very interesting graphical glitch that happened with Peach's parasol. Um, and it, Frosty says that it was an Uncle Punch glitch and should not happen on land. These fade back up airs, fade back full hop up airs. They cover so much of covers a lot of space. Honestly, that could definitely cover a tech. I think. Chad, do you ever feel like you're on the verge of a sneeze, but not quite there? You just got like tingling in your nose a little bit, maybe. Sub float. This is uh this is that shit that we see Triff do as well. Triff is a Spanish, lovely Spanish peach player. Certainly one of the best to do it just like Ferocity. Just like Adam Lindgren Armada. Would you like to join? We have Fluid here on cons with me. Oh. Fluid might have done an oopsie. I'm sure it'll be fine. Turned off the lights. It can get a little spooky in here. It is October. Yeah, this is uh, Thanksgiving time, so get it, have friends and family. Um, Did a light just go off? I don't know where this is supposed to go. Uh, oh, all the way up there? Kevin! 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 Gaming! Kevin! Kevin Tenacity Gaming, we need help! Our goat, our goat is on the way. What now? 
Something about the light. I don't know what happened. I didn't touch it. It might be Jover. It's not Jover till it's over. Kevin Tenacity Gaming Art God has brought light to the studio once again. The CLM studio. Thanks, Kev. We appreciate Kevin Tenacity Gaming and all the things that he does. Two thumbs up. Put him up. Look at the camera. He doesn't want to. Kevin Tenacity Gaming watching both players, making sure, making sure that they're not cheating. No performance enhancing drugs. Not at this local, no. Unless, unless you have uh, a Vivance or Adderall prescription. Those are allowed. But only if you have a prescription. Okay. What a light shield out of the puncher right crazy. there. Ooh. Oh, I like that flow height. Kind of. Oh, wow. Platform, so. You might want to put the mic a little closer to you. Am I really that quiet? Yeah, you're better now. Nice. It's always scary seeing Peach play, because every hit that Peach does is like, it feels so much stronger. It could be a lot, like a handful. But then also, on the other side, you know, it could be really hard for Peach to get the hit. Yeah, I mean, we just saw right there, Unsure had a perfect spot for the shine. Got in, Peach, there was nothing that Peach could do about it. Oh, okay, a little wave, shine. wave shines. Already both these guys are di all the hits pretty well. Oh, yeah. I think they might be a one and two. At least, like, oh, what a catch. In this oh, another bomb? We've already oh. seen one today. What is this RNG? Wow, what a weight with the crouch. That's a good way to get for something. Unsure is the dash out of crouch. What a shield. Okay. Jab, uh, up smash, kind of risky against Peach. Just because you could always hold down and Fox can eat like 50%. Yeah. Uh, but it worked out for him. Lots of shield pressure. Karasu is showing some very just <laughs> crazy SDI to get out of these drills from Unsure. It's making him really, uh, it's making Unsure very, you know, difficult for him to follow up with these drills. Wow. Ooh, yeah, I know, right? That, that was just like, felt early. Yeah, that had to be like the percent. <laughs> Another bomb! How? <laughs> How is this possible? Three bombs in like four games? Yeah, if you take a game timer, that's probably about like three bombs in about four or five minutes. I mean, that's just crazy. Ratio. Holy hell. And it's not like a bomb, like a stitch heavy mat, or sorry, a, a turn of heavy matchup like Peach or Marth. Someone check the box. <laughs> Unsure taking one. game one. JV2. I know. That is, I he can't believe that. Bombs, yeah. That's insane. Two bombs in, in, in this game, it was less than a minute or two apart. That's crazy. You know what I know something crazy? Yeah. Unsure said if he, ran, if he ever won a mid lane, he'll buy a burger pizza. You think it, you In think? the next mid lane. That's what he said. He told me that. Unsure, I hope you I hope you win <laughs> and you stick to your promises because I would very, definitely like some pizza. A, a very good bracket. Just who he has left to deal with. It's uh, Ferocity um, if you right now with this, this obstacle, is winter finals. You know, Eric and Ferocity playing very well regardless. You know, poised to take his first ever mid lane. Ooh, yep. That is that. Ooh, wow. That was a boxing war right there. And now one or two. It's going to be kind of hard for uh, Peach to find his next hit. Because it won't be off a combo, and I don't think Unsure will give her the grab. Wow, made it back to stage. The Scurzo side be right there. Pulling turnips. Trying to get another bomb. Don't blame him. You know what? I'll, I'll give Frosty. How much money is in my wallet? 
If Ferrasi pulls another bomb by the end of this uh, set, I'll give uh, Ferrasi ten dollars. Give him ten dollars and make him buy the lottery with it. You know what? If Ferrasi wins the lottery with the ten dollars I I give him, then I'm entitled to at least. Uh, what are you entitled to? Five thousand. If it's a big lottery, I'm entitled to more. Surely. But That's definitely how that works. Lottery, you'll just take all his money. If it's a five thousand dollar lottery, I'll just take fifty. Okay. I'm entitled to one percent of the earnings. Oh, nice. Ooh, yeah. that was a great wall tech. Unfortunately, it was not enough. This is some sick level, sick high level peach box already on what I'm seeing with my yeah, god given this, eyes. This feels like Leffen versus Triff. Chicago, Chicago version. Oh wow, what a great grab from that down tilt out of I'm sure. Oh. Oh my god. Ballin' like fallen. Oh no. I left the oven on. I think next game. Next game, unless he gets this next if he gets his next lock without uh without taking like sixty percent, it's not too bad for him. Uh, it's gonna okay. Next game, next game. This is uh definitely an Oh. That's not what I was expecting. I was not expecting that stack. Ooh. Have the right idea. Oh, the grab just Play catching it. Again. This is a near moment, I think. Uh, throw, 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 throw. <laughs> wow. Shot open. Oh. I mean, got like up to 60. Yeah, messed up a little timing on one of the wave shines, but compensated by getting out of the spot. Stuck in shine, but not quite enough. That down like smash takes it. You've seen an unfortunate SD from Unsure. Set count is 1-1 one, one now. It's definitely anyone's set. I'd love to see a, a Dreamland game here. I feel like Dreamland would be pretty solid. We'll see. It depends on how uh, comfortable Ferocity deals with um, how he feels about Unsure's camping. Oh, almost. Wow. Oh, still is possibility. Wow, oh, that's a crazy attack. Okay. <gasps> Miss Shine, down okay. smash. SD out onto stage. Wow. Yeah, Ferocity is ready for <laughs> every situation. I think Ferocity just did like a sub float, and the Nair knocked him, the SD guy down, and he went to the ground before uh, I'm sure got a landing back. That right there, that down air, that's a hitbox. Incredible. I just gotta find a way to kill Ferocity. Okay. That <laughs> takes it. Huge deficit though, 100% deficit. Yep. A triple one deficit at that. One good hit from Ferocity. Yeah. And I'm sure can't be on the ground because you could just wake up. Well, there it is. Yeah. This is definitely a match I feel like, for, uh, not for us, that Unsure can crawl back for, oh, yeah, there it is. Clean. Just as I yeah. say it, commentator's blessing, I guess. All, all it takes for Andrew is one good opening, and that's just like 50, 60%. Wow, baiting out the second down smash, too. Good percent on Frosty. Keeping distance as well. That's another stock. That side B out of shield was a definite mistake from Frosty. And, uh, let, I'm sure to get that up smash at 70%. Big. Rolling away and then running started. right back in, unfortunately, getting caught by the dash attack. Another oh. dash attack catching. Try to do that falling style. That was supported. You get it. Trying to stay, maintain distance from Peach to avoid down smashes. Really any aerial. Wow, unfortunately could not re-grab ledge from that position. Dada is being wasted on a throw. Big moment for this, uh, for this set right here. Oh. It's close. Ooh, caught, not... Wow, oh, CC up smash know, from the dash attack. He was watching those dash attacks that Ferocity was getting over and over again. And capitalized it when he needed most at the end of game three. Now he still retains his match lead, his counter pick advantage. FOD, here it is. Uh, oh, 
and a lot more down smashes coming out from Frosty already. I feel like this is one of the most dangerous uh, stages to play against a Peach, just from the sheer fact that the ledges, or not the ledges, the platforms can drop down, and if you get hit by a down smash, you know, you know what happens. I know, I do know what happens. It's not pretty. But very much so. Some somewhat scrubby, some might say scrubby side beast coming out of Andrew, but hey, if it works, it works. That's my opinion. Opportunity from, <laughs> I'm sure. Doesn't get much. Oh wow, that is an interesting choice yeah, of action. Doing from some Andrew. interesting dash attacks on uh, Peach's shield, kind of like crossing up and whatnot. Yeah, crossing up, crossing back, and then going in the first direction for a dash attack. The problem is it hasn't netted him much. I could see the idea, but the uh, it just hasn't been paying off. So. Right. Using every laser that. Wow. That is not an expected stage spike. Stage spike to the left at that. You just mentioned earlier with uh, the way that Andrew's kind of semi-camping Peach, yep. using lasers to tack on damage as much as possible. Sure. Right. Okay. This is already good percent, even if it doesn't get the Oh, yep. Well. Yeah. There it is. I don't think there's going to be a Dreamland. This might, this might be a, this might be a three one. It's it might definitely that pizza. possible. You might be getting that pizza. One would, step closer to that pizza. I would love that pizza. The pizza is real. <laughs> the, the, the pizza, in fact, is real. Holding shine. Ooh, jumping straight into the nair, but can he make it back? Yeah. Not quite. Can't drop that one. It's not in this important game from Ferocity. Oh, platform kind of making it hard, in this case, for Ferocity's sake. Oh, bad timing on the approach for unsure, but getting out just as quickly as he came in. In advantage, oh, there it is. Taking another stock off the double jump oh, using shine. Getting, yeah, with the shines, he's been getting these stocks in an efficient and effective manner. The roll in is a little ill-advised, but he's able to sneak his way outside of the combo once more. I was unsure if I get like 60 or 70 percent of each, I'd be very comfortable going in this last stock. If I were even lose it in the first place. Yeah. Is that a very no comfortable jump. 44? Unfortunately, the jump is lost. Unsure has the opportunity of a season right here. Still, still very doable for, for us. Oh, okay. Off stage. Oh, right a lovely off. high up B. Unsure maintaining space. <gasps> oh, the candle. That's crazy! We are and one step closer to pizza. I don't even think that up would have killed. That is crazy. But it works out that, anyways. That was the most baller, devious, zealous up air of all time. If that forward hair hit, it would have been, I feel like, a stall situation. In that case, I still think Fox might win it. Because then Fox yeah. would have went up with the forward air, assuming he doesn't die off the side black, uh, blast zone. Shine saw on the up B against Peach's carousel. I think Fox still got it. Yeah, just abuse Shine's slowing frames. Yeah. It's possible. And but I guess we'll never know. Is in grand finals at Midlay 99. We just are one, one We are three games away from getting pizza. 3 2 in Geo Goat. 2 0 oh in Fluid. Baldur's Gate 3. I'm going to play Baldur's Gate 3. Yo, how, how far are you into Baldur's Gate? Or I'm did you just the, get in it? In the middle of Act 2. In the middle of Act 2. Okay, I just finished the game the other day. Okay. I cried during the credits, just a little bit. That's that game is phenomenal. Just a game. Yeah, but it was emotional. I connected with the characters. You're connected to... <laughs> you're I, I won't say which one made me cry, because I feel like that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But the Shadowheart and her elvish guile. Shadowheart has a very interesting storyline in Act 3, I think. Very, very... There's a lot of, there's so many decisions in that game, I have to play it again. But I, I almost don't want to, because I've already set in stone my first playthrough. It took me 155 hours to, to finish that. Because I, I, I looked at almost everything, and I missed one section of the game, and I'm really sad I missed it. What act was it in? It was in Act 1. Oh, what, what was it? Uh, the Get the Yankee Crash. You missed that part? Mm -hmm. I, I thought I'd have more time to do it, but it was a little too late. Yeah. Like I'm in Act 2 now, baby. Yep. 
And I wish I did. You get some good buffs. You can get a really good buff from that spot. Um, however, I th I'm I'm kind of glad things went the way it did for my for my uh for my run. Kyogo Killablu, I believe Killablu last the two la last two or three sets in the specific matchup against Kyogo. Let's see if Kyogo is able to break this very short losing streak, or if Killablu will extend it. This is the classic right Add here too. Fox Falco, Spacey's, ooh, beautiful, wonderfully done. All the blips, oh, music to my ears. What that is a hell? crazy deep shine. I don't know why they would go out there like that, but it works out. I, I, I don't. They just got it like that. I actually don't know anyone else who would go for that other than Gio. That, that specific shine. That, that, Gio is balling like fallen. Truly. Oh, there he is. I wanted someone to steal it. I wanted to test the overall morality of mid lane melee. What an air dodge from K Blue. <laughs> Everything looks great, by the way. You're doing a great job. Oh, what a patient for a tilt. Yep. Woo. K Blue up a stock, but at 98. Truly, it's anyone's game right now. Excellent angle. Not quite enough coming back to stage. Oh, no. Trying to look at the way that Killablu uses lasers here in uh, his approach. Use it like a G. Uh, I've been getting some coaching from Mac Daddy recently. Um, oh shit, he does coaching. Well, it's not like official coaching or anything, uh, okay. but I've been practicing with oh, him quite coaching. a bit. Yeah, homie coaching pretty much. And uh, nice. we watched a set with Imder, um, and he told me to look at the ways that Imder was moving around with laser in his approach and how he played neutral. And it helped a lot, so I'm trying to pay attention to that with uh, with Killaboo here. I almost just said Ferocity. Wow, Simple what a short one, too. Wow. Oh, down. Oh, oh, oh the just worst. the last hit. That's crazy. The Falco chance coming out from the crowd. And it might be fruition. Oh, the platform's there it is. Killablue from that up smash. Otherwise, what have happened with that? Oh, the up smash scoops. <coughs> okay, good percent. Oh, and the forward air. Wow. What a crazy reversal. Wow, what an interception. Yeah. Dang, Kill the Blue with that read. That's how you win sets. That's how you win games. Game one, K Blue. Geo taking off the jacket. Oh, shit. We have ourselves at least gamer mode lane. So far, it's felt like spaghetti at this game. Full set? Well, a lot of parts. Oh. Yeah, a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> that but is a uh, first stock for Geo. Yep. Okay, no, here we go. The spaghetti, I think, is over. Yeah. The tomato paste and broth have been reduced. The noodles are in the sauce. It's full on ravioli. This is lasagna here. Oh, what a, almost a bait. Dang, Not quite, Geo takes Gio. second stock here too. Yeah, the counterfeit already working up for Geo. I think the small edges, ledge dash being buff for, uh, for them in this case, you know, really doing wonders. Up here is not quite enough to take it just yet, even with the eye. That backer takes it off the top. Ooh, 
Miss the up tilt, Geo. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, that Nair takes it. And I feel like we're going to go to game 3-1-1, honestly. Just based off the vibe, you know? I mean, Cable can still do some dirtiness right here. They're shining. <laughs> They're hitting the down B button. They're blipping. <laughs> it's like one shine. And then Joe gets it in. Okay. There it is. This is. It's still possible for Cable to win this. It's going to be a hard grind back, but it's possible. That's an opening. Yep. It only takes one opening okay. with Falco. 50%. Shy guy's messing up kill, uh, kill blue right there. Yep, for the tech timing. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Little snipe with that dash attack. Oh. There it is. Game two to Geo. The jab up smash. I mean, that's how you take it. Yeah. Y you take them wherever you can get them. Scott Young. Enrique Counter. No top platform. I think Kill is probably going to be doing a little better on this stage because of the lack of a middle plat. As soon as I say that, though. Oh. Yeah, as soon as I say that, Geo is capitalizing as much as possible. Keeping K-Blue in a state over. of, yeah, yeah. Even with this much larger stage, Kill Blue still is feel it, like, must be feeling suffocated. There it is. Even stocks now. Clean heat, uh, he just needed one or two reads, which he got there, and that's how he got the stock. This is probably my. This I feel like this stage is becoming my favorite Ooh. stage to play as Falco. Yeah. Having the wide open middle really allows for you to abuse your yeah. shine oh, at low percents. And Ooh. Believe that Geo, Geo reacting physically to that one. No I can't way. imagine how that feels. Well, I, I have SD, so maybe I can, but not this far into a tournament, I haven't. Geo cleaning out the stock either way very quickly, so perhaps it didn't mean too much. Oh, crouch gets on that up tilt, like burning into his grill. Oh, no! Yeah, I mean, with that, it, it gets weird. Because you want to go towards ledge so you don't get shine spikes, but also at the same time, you get kind of... That scale hit with it. Yep. Oh. Interesting. Nothing off the dash attack, though. Ooh, some low drift aerials. Cable okay, just staying right outside of. Geo's threat range with some of these arrows on shield. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay, nice. Try, try to go for the ginger air, but Geo got really didn't go anywhere there. Oh, you're not you're not low enough to crouch cancel yeah, that. Should have been up smash, I think. So now, Geo, or Enrique still on his last stock. The F kill takes it though, very clean. Oh, wow, going for... That could have been like a cheese right there. Oh, yeah. If Enrique caught that double jump from Geogo trying to go to stage. There it is. That's game three right there to Geo with a very clean up smash. That was Killer Blue's... That was Killer Blue's counter pick, yo. They go back to it. Okay, Jigoat is like, they're waiting for that up tilt. Like, I saw it happen th uh, third time already this set. Just run up, hold down, whiff punish it up to all of the percent. That's wild. Cape Loon the lead right now. Making his way out of the corner. Geo, however, catching it right on. Oh! They kind of got stuck on the platform there. They let Killblue just 
Yeah, Get threaded the here. needle. Oh, here's the shines, the Falco. Wow, sliding through to avoid the dash attack, or the get up attack. Oh, wow! Nice stock from Caleb Lou. Very expressive. More shines. Wow. Just the light hit of that back air. Forward air too. Wow. Understands. So clean from yeah. Kavlu right now. Understands what he had to do and executes. Okay, it looks like we're going to five. Kilbu was just balling like falling that entire game. That's crazy. But they're going FD. <laughs> Geo taking a breather real quick. 30 second meditate. Got to be very careful here as both characters. Yeah. Interesting choice from Killaboo to not follow up. Looks like uh, he messed something up there. Mm -hmm. Just as much though as Falco has these shines, just as it happens, uh, Fox has quite the up throw on this stage. Oh, yeah. there it is, that's stock sealed. Falling with just the softest of nearest two right there. Oh my. It almost hit again. Oh Cable is still not dead. Yeah. Scooped up by the up tilt though. No up oh air. And converts it into a small combo. Still good percent. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunate mess yeah. up from Kill Blue. Jeez, air dodging. Was, yeah. It was looking really rough for Giga for that couple of seconds there. There it is. That's this next stock sealed. Maybe Kilgoo might have accidentally double jumped there. Oh. Geo capitalizing as much as possible off the mess up that Kilgoo just demonstrated. You have to, you have to punish that and talk. Wow, going for the double shine there as well. Oh, wow, that's a devastating. Wow. What a forward tilt conversion. Well, once a strong lead, they find themselves down three stacks on the hand against the explosiveness of Kill of Blue. And this might be it. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, the foot at the end. Dude. That was crazy. That was like the first time. Oh, thank you, NYC Melee, for hosting us. Um, that was like the first time I've seen that sort of dare. Oh, wow. Usually it's like dare to dare to close out a set or a, st uh, a game. That was dare and a fair. Yeah. Off stage. New York City Melee, if you're going to be in the Chicago area during early November, you should sign up for Out of the Blue. Start.gg slash blue. Any uh, NYC Melee uh, figureheads, you should come by if you're able to. I can't put a gun to your head and make you come. I'm sorry. But we would appreciate some New York representation here in Chicago, and we can show you some good pizza. Not not that floppy cardboard. I'm creating enemies right now. <laughs> it's always been a uh, I've been to New York at least. I've had the pizza. I, I still prefer Chicago. Tavern, not deep dish, to be clear. Deep dish is not real pizza. That That is a casserole. I'm down to do NYC melee boxing. Can, Lud can Ludwig set up melee boxing again? Wait, no, didn't they? I mean, I mean it was canceled for this year. Yeah, well, I think it was the chess boxing one, right? Oh, that's where the chess boxing But I'd definitely da be down to watch more melee boxing, though. That match with uh, Fiction and KJH. Was it KJH? It was uh, Fiction and KJH. Yeah, and they, uh, that was a great, great set to watch. Here we have Kill Blue and Ferocity again. Pretty sure they've already played in this tournament, right? I think no. both of them on winner's side, or I might be wrong about that. I think Killablu lost to Phobia, no? Um, otherwise, yeah, I guess maybe he did play Ferocity earlier. Is this? Losers 
final? They or? played. They played winner semi. There we go. Thank you. So they played winner semis. Oh, what a down tilt! That's masterful use. Oh, unfortunate. You think it's gonna be? Uh, it's possible that we get a uh, unsure and Frosty as a rematch. Yeah, and if that's the case. I mean, Drake's Unsure can do it again. That pizza, man. That pizza. I'm <laughs> that thinking about that pizza. Man, we're not talking about no cardboard New York pizza, baby. We're talking about, he told me this. He said, Pequods, baby. Said, oh, I love me some Pequods. <laughs> That's right. He said, like, he's getting everyone Pequod. For those of you who don't know, Unsure said that if he won the mid lane, he'd buy pizza. Yes, sir, MacDaddy, I'm here. I'm learning I'm learning from Killable. I'm watching the gameplay. That's not pizza. Also, MacDaddy, I figured out how to do the down air that we were t discussing. I yeah. figured it out. You have to, you have to uh, fast fall it. You have to fast fall before you jump, and that's something I wasn't doing. Oh, beautiful down tilt. I mean, we have to see, you know, down two stocks to three still. Yeah, K Blue is definitely in quite the. Uh, it, it, he's playing from behind right now. Okay. Very behind. Two stocks, or three stocks to one. That's a huge two stock deficit. It's yeah. not impossible to make up, but it's very difficult. It's, it's cl you're climbing a hill here. Not just any hill, it's a, it's a really big hill. Yes. Ferocity, the only Peach to do the Peach Ledge Dash. Albeit not with much consistency, but regardless skill. Oh, that's unfortunate. Lost the jump there. And that was game one. That was a very convincing three stock. This might be a I hope it's not a huge wash, but I guess washes are where you learn the most, right? Yeah. You know, Killaboo's one saving grace is that this is a very good stage for Falco. Waiting out, waiting out on the down smash on platform as well. Going for the shield drop. Unfortunately, it's completely punished there. Frosty looks like he's on a mission. Absolutely. He Frosty said, wants to get another chance out, I'm sure. My pal Geo oh, look at that. is killed in cold blood, and I will avenge them, is the narrative I'm feeling. But also, I think he just really wants to win this tournament. <laughs> Most definitely. Wow, oh, yeah. perfect timing to avoid the down air. Wow, and a huge call out, too, with that shine. The SCI to get in on stage, but unfortunately it's not enough. Still pushed away completely. Wow. Okay. This is definitely Falco. Well, okay. Evened up again. That it is. Almost fell into that down smash. Kilvu has been avoiding these down smashes like the plague. Yeah. It's Dude, really impressive. Well. I think that's one of the key reasons why he's able to, you know, keep it close this game. Game two after getting three star game one. Oh yeah. Playing from the platforms. Oh and there it is. It. There it is. Oh, <laughs> still punished though. Yeah, still oh, no turnaround for the up tilt. Okay. Kill is yeah. playing with his food. Yep. Still a chance. The way we saw Ferocity take stock earlier this set so far. Oh, it's yep. very doable still. I, I would still be sort of very worried if I was killed. Wow, there did was. not get hit by the parasol at all right there. Taking these hits and dashing away. Kablu has to not get too antsy here. Oh. Ooh. Oh. That was a four to wow. Oh, what a tech. Off the top? No, no not quite. One back air, one neutral, I think. No, you don't get anything out there. Oh, oh. this feels feeling spaghetti yeah. right here. Some dash attacks, they can get punished really easily. 
Oh, and <gasps> the Randall play. Oh! Oh, oh the <laughs> fuck! The, let, the wall tech! The oh, wall tech yeah. does it! I, if Frosty just went to ledge and grabbed it, I believe Killboy was low enough. Frosty's smiling at that too. Yeah. I, I love I love seeing the player we'll smile. Now, I think. Yep. Oh, this is this is really rough for Falco. You get grabbed and it's basically a death sentence. Okay. Oh. Wow. Perfect spacing too to get back onto the ledge from K Blue. Oh, baiting out that down smash again. The collide. Getting close. There it is. Yeah. Now, rising air catching. Kilburn trying to fall on whatever he wanted. I'm probably. Been seeing a lot of forward airs from Kilburn. Yeah, for those percent. True. That's the goal. Oh, mixing it up. Some flat dashes. Oh, the nair taking it. There, yeah. Nice and easy. You can't mess it up. Ooh, my back just cracked like four different ways. That was beautiful. Oh, uh, here's here it is. This is a scary situation. Oh, messing no no dash. Well, the nair takes it anyways. I think the most important part, uh, you know, the most important part of the chain grab itself is you know the percent. Absolutely. It's all about racking up the percent, getting them off stage, and once they're off stage, you can just capitalize off that percent by hitting one time. Here it is again. Doing about 9% per cycle. With, an, with a pummel at each time as well. Who's gonna have to be very careful about approaching Frosty right now? Any any little hit can just send him off flying. Abusing down airs right here. Oh, what a shine grab! That unfortunately <laughs> is a little too zealous. Yeah. I like how a, a beam sword? Yeah, okay, Frosty gets my money. It, it wasn't a bomb, but it's close enough. It's instead of ten dollars, it's okay. gonna be five. In, in your in your defense, though, the beam sword has a higher chance than uh, of occurring than the bomb. Even so, Frosty has gotten so many pulls today. Just, I guess we're gonna. Uh, you think we'll see a Saturn before the night ends, a uh, Mr. Saturn? Wow. Parth on FD? Does Killaboo have a Marth? What's tunes? How's it going? That is game three to Ferocity. Okay. I mean, Killaboo got rid of the two scary stages, you know, the battlefield and FD. Yep. Uh, FC Stadium now. Uh, oh, oh, oh Battlefield, battle okay. Ooh, some pretty big shine pressure, but Little Tuzalis gets hit by the big old down smash. Off stage now, and that's, that is the first dock in less than 15 seconds. That's a rough dock. That's his matchup, though. It's a hard one. Yeah. Y you make a couple mistakes as Falco, and it's Peach can capitalize so easily, it feels. Killblue, however, has been showing many elements of counterplay. Wow, what an angle. Yeah. The down air was ambitious, but I'm not sure what he could have followed up with followed it up with though. Sure. Answering the dash attack with another dash attack of his own. 
I love the shine run away. The aerial shine run away. It's a good pressure option. Keeps them guessing. Ooh, lovely back air right there. I like how, you know, Phil Blue waited. Yeah. Okay. That patience goes a long way. Yep. Those ledge holds will oh, get you. There it is, my friend. There's the Saturn you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I, 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 don't need, I have no words. I have no words. Regardless of the outcome of this set, Frosty has earned $5 off of me just for getting insane pulls. Frosty, you better play the lottery with this money. We saw this earlier. Wow. Not Unfortunately, not able to capitalize off. Oh, but the back air. Mixing up the timings with Parasol, too, for an ambiguous landing timing. Oh, I've, there, okay. Even stocks, K Blue down by 73%, though. Frosty taking his time to approach the scene seemingly in a methodical manner. k is definitely doing the same though. Get some strong up tilts. Oh, not quite enough. <laughs> that was an ambitious yeah. up B and I honestly respect k yeah. a lot for it. Because that, if that landed, that just, Frosty I think it would have killed. It. Like, just go away from it. That one hit you to go away from it. Oh, wonderful tech call out oh, with the F smash. K Blue, K -Blue in the lead now. Oh, what a grab. Oh, the tech chase. Not enough people use that, I think. Oh, stole it, sniped the jump. Big stock for Killa Blue. Let's see if he can make it. He's extending the lead. Oh, huge lead right now. It is this oh, it is the safer option though to just let Peach get ledge for the most part. There it is. That's game four right there. Two two right now. This is a game five clutch situation. Who will be the one to take this set? Jarvey just wants. So I'm sure has a foreseeably easier matchup in the grand final. Listen, as a Falco player, <laughs> I have to want Killaboo to win. I'm sure Dragoid feels similarly. Wow, that is an unfortunate situation for K Blue. Not at quite high enough a percent to ensure attack situation and then getting mixed. Ooh, that is a brave spot dodge. Back air, not quite enough to kill. That was an ambitious F smash. Ooh, good bait for the dash attack. Oh, what an air dodge. The mango recovery. The tech chase with the grab. That laser down throw, or down throw, laser down throw, it's a good tech chase. Very underutilized. For sure. Definitely also it's exploitable, uh, I good. will say. Yeah. Just racking on extra percent when possible. Oh, I thought it was down air, but yeah. Oh, that might top. kill off the top, yeah. Kill a blue with that speed run, all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, nice three from Ferocity. I know where you want to side B, kill a blue, and I got you. I might have just heard Michael Jackson laughing in the background. He's back. I don't know, but they went hee hee. Wow, what a power shield. 
Not quite enough, no movement out of it. Maybe his turn to punish? Waiting off for those down smashes on platform. Once more we see Kale Blue. Oh, no jump. Game five. Can K-Blue close this one out, make it even? Okay, they have 120. Oh, the parasol protecting Frosty, getting back to the stage. Oh, there it is. It's almost even. K-Blue only down by 5% right now. Oh, the platform was perfect for Frosty. Let me get that down for free. A lot of chill damage. Wow, the oh, neutral get up too. Oh, is it gonna oh, it went for an up tilt after it. The grab? That's it. <gasps> no. The weight! The weight! The patience that Cable uh, has demonstrated is incredible. Oh. <gasps> no, he's off. Back on stage. Okay, is that it? That, no, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, with that man. Place. What a set. Killer Blue managed to get out of the turnip into oh. aerial. I thought that was the turnaround for that last stock, but I guess. Ferocity. <laughs> We're getting a run back, unsure ferocity. This is going to be an intense grand finals, I feel. I think unsure is going to sweep 3 0. 3 1 at best. I think, I don't know, I'm feeling like it's going to be game five, but only one set. I feel like this is going to be game five because Ferrasi is feeling saying, very warm, obviously, after just going the distance in a five-game set. And, and I think Unsure looks like the best player here today. Yeah. Unsure has been playing very clean as of late. Let's see if Unsure can get its first mid lane. Mid lane 99, it may not be 100, but goddamn 99 will take it. Yeah, matching numbers. Love a good matching number. 99, 88, he told 77. Me once he wants to live to 99. He told me that. N why 99 in particular? Because 100 is too much. You know? Your body is failing. You're you know, I'm comfortable going out at 80. Though. I'm definitely comfortable going out at 80. Like, if I'm, if I'm somehow still working at that age, like, I think maybe I should be euthanized. Maybe. Because, because, like, Okay, maybe if I'm if I'm like just a worker, peace out. Take it easy. If I'm just a worker, maybe don't euthanize me. But if I'm like in any position of importance and I'm that old, get me out of that position of importance. My brain is gone. It, it, it you shouldn't be working that old, especially not on anything important. Right, you are here first, folks. Ferocity. Three XO. Pro human population. Ferocity. It's because you had crazy pulls. Two bombs, two bombs earlier, and then a, a beam sword and a Mr. Saturn? Play the lottery with that. I will, I'll do it. I, if you win anything, I am entitled to 1%. 1%? 1%. You got it. <laughs> Contract signed. Let's go. 1% lottery winnings. Let's see if <laughs> I'm sure can. Let's see. Or otherwise, Team Fish is very own ferocity. Kish, are you watching, dog? This is exciting. Yeah, we were at this level of competitive grand final one hot minute. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really matter with our type of controller. These are two boxers right here. The way that they play is very much, for me, similar to the way I've seen people box. <laughs> And I guess it's fi fitting, though, because they are playing on box as well. Crazy how the two box players in the venue find themselves in grand final. Regardless, we find ourselves game one battlefield. Oh. Way shines. Shine shines. Double shines. Wow, what a grab. Ferocity went over that side B, didn't he clip on him, just went under. Oh, oh the Nair catching. Yeah, and oh, and the low there. Nair getting him too. What? 
That, I cannot believe what I just saw. That might have been the luckiest up air I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like, stop it. I'll tickle your feet. That's how you stop someone. Wow, oh here we go. God. Andrew moving very fast right now. Oh hit after hit after hit. See if we can close it. Here dodging straight through the shine. The light shield too for the pushback. Wow, getting the slide off. Unfortunately, it didn't look like Unsure was ready for it. No. Slow get up. The yep, there's the, the trade. Yep. Throwing the turnip the opposite direction. That is curious. But I think if Frosty threw the turnip in the direction of Unsure, he might have gotten a hit on the hand. Yeah. Unsure uh, taking it, yep. waiting for the perfect opportunity. The best way to deal with that flare that I just wait it out. Call her on when she wants to stay up there. Oh, falling into the down smash. We saw a lot of Kill Blue baiting out that down smash on the floor of the stage and double jumping to avoid it. Oh, almost a shine spike. Oh. No jump? No jump, yeah. That is some Kentucky Fried DI, unfortunately. Shoutouts to Goose447, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> that is... He just stood there and upset. Yeah. You know what? That's patience. That is. That it takes a lot of patience to do that. And it, the patience was rewarded. Oh, okay. oh there's the grab. Oh, oh stole the jump. Oh, on the Wait. Side of stage. Yo, yeah, he side gets stage. it! He's still alive. Okay, that should be it. This is that's it. Oh, oh he makes it back. Fourth throw. The no, back air. Oh, he can he win this. Okay. Oh. How? How does he do it? Oh, How does he do it? How does he do he it? And after recovering from the bottom of Battlefield Game One. The gods love Unsure to take. Unsure's heart has to be pumping with the most pizza sauce I've ever seen. Oh my lord, For look us, at this. For us, he had Unsure did to a rights. That was a checkmate move on any other stage. In any other situation. But the presence of mind to cover from underneath the battle. The shine! He's up on game two on Final Destination. Oh my Destination. lord. Unsure is the set is is this melee Christ? <laughs> is this melee Christ? The he died and resurrected on the other side of battlefield. Hey, hey, hey. well, yeah, he he is cooking. He is cooking. Okay. Well, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. I I, I'm, this game is putting lines on my forehead. They're waiting for invincibility. He's gonna abuse it. He said, don't pull turnips in front of me. I have invincibility frames. Oh, missed the wave shine. Oh, that was some good FCI from uh, Frosty to actually take, miss that wave shine. Here comes the chain grab. <gasps> Getting the jump out. Side beat a ledge at the perfect height, too. Oh, there's a down smash. Oh, it does not sound the way he wants. And I'm sure it's back. There's no smash. He's still third stock. He's putting on the percent. And with the up smash, is that kill? No. Not quite. Barely, man. Fucking barely. This is crazy. Okay. Unsure is cooking. No, no, no. That's not it. Oh, it's the dot Peach eyes. Chance coming out from the game the crowd. Stock. Yeah, Peach Chance. But will it, will it prove anything? And I can't that kills that off the top! It kills off the top and scooped her right when he, she put her feet up. Unsure up two stocks. Waiting! Okay. The, oh! the shine spike! Oh! 
Oh my lord. <laughs> what a down smash. That didn't even look like it connected. No. Dude, that just gave me the chills. Holy fuck. I told I told oh. 3XO, I told you, man. I told you. This guy's looking like the best player in the in the state right now. In the state. I can't agree more. He's playing so hot. Oh my god. That's it. That's Up game two. Oh. Two stocks on hell? FD? That, that was decisive. Yeah. That looked like I, I think it might, it might be 3-0. It might be 3-0. We haven't seen him just yet. We haven't seen him just yet. yet. But it's possible. Game three, switching up, said FD. You know, I need my platforms. I need something to deal with this. Oh, you the know, double down smash box. punish. Oh my god. The reverse drill? Oh, that wave dash back up tilt, yummers. Oh, oh so God. many of them. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh so dirty. Effort? It will be. That's, oh my God, so quick. Yes. Is Ferocity out of juice, baby? What's going on? He's just He's going over him. Yo, Rush unsure, unsure is playing on a completely different. He's like, level. I choose when we interact, man. Un dude, right now, unsure is playing like a top ten player. I'm not <laughs> lying. Okay, folks. Okay. Oh, what an angle. angle! Okay, this should be it. Oh, yes, there's the a snipe. That will close it up. Thank God, Ferocity. You have, you have at least started adding a stitch face. Oh, unfortunate waste of a stitch face. I don't know, man. I'm sure it looked like he was ready to catch it, and goddamn, I believe he was going to, you know. Wow, what a spot dodge from Ferocity, completely avoiding the up smash. Wow, oh. what a snipe. God damn, man. Okay. Oh, and the up air gives him nothing. It's just nothing is working out for Ferocity. I'm mesmerized right now. This neutral he's, game. He's, he's going, he's just all over the place. He's, he's swimming in the air. Okay. He's gonna go, oh, he, he mashes, mashes out. out! At 99, you only get one! You only get one jab on me! Oh, okay, the oh. reverse forward air, taking the next stock for Ferocity. Ferocity's not dead in the water just yet. <laughs> that might be, man. This is Edgeguard. Oh my, it's the shine! <laughs> if Ferocity was gonna go to the ledge, that's the safest option you could do. And Unsure? <laughs> is It looks like... Unsure is feeling pretty sure of himself. Uh, he is ve very sure. After a disappointing showing at Cream Convergence, after 98 other mid lanes. Is this the one? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Unsure finds himself poised. 3 0. Oh, okay, but not if Frosty has something to say about it. He's back on stage. He gets a slide off too, avoids the down smash. Oh, he didn't get sniped! How did that turn on hit? B gets the ledge! Oh, I know. Oh, okay, it's oh, shield pokes. It's yeah. shield pokes, finally. Oh, can Frosty close it? Oh, no floats! Stitch There's face. a stitch! He shielded it! Okay. Opportunity! Oh, the platform. Frosty putting in work. Yeah. It's almost even. No, that doesn't kill. Not One quite. More One more, though. Yes. Oh, what is this ice movement? That, is there? this it? No? Oh, oh you rolled in. That might be it. We won't be going to game four. Yeah, just jump back. Doesn't oh, matter. Oh, he goes back to the top flat. This is so hard. That's I it! 3-0! 3-0 for Unsure! Unsure, where's the pizza? 
We need the beach on sure. Everyone come to Midlane 100 if you're in chat, if you're in Chicago, unsure. Promised everyone pizza. We were at Mysteries. He said so in jest. He said, if I win the next Midlane, I will be going to the next, the following. The pizza at Midlane 100. Pizza, it is going to be. Pizza at Midlane 100. 98 other Midlanes. Huh? You guys play crazy. Y'all are fucking nuts, honestly. Would you like to interview, unsure, or can I do it? I don't even know how to interview people. I think the floor is yours for this. I'll, 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 I will give this up willingly, because I, I, I don't even know what I would ask. Wow. Andrew. I'm not moving. I want a whiff of you, that's why. What's up? I did it. Woo. How you feeling, man? You know, pretty good. A little upset uh, some people aren't here. I would like to, like to beat everyone, but. Who'd you beat today, though? It wasn't something uh, to scoff at. It was Ferocity twice, you, of course, the most important win, and then Geo, never went in my pool. What changed, man? I was able to look at the screen today. <laughs> Somet nah. Sometimes I can look at the screen, sometimes I can't. I was seeing some stuff. I couldn't you believe like my the, eyes. You like that tech shine? I like that tech shine. I like how you clutched it game one in one of the most preposterous ways I've ever seen someone clutch it out game one. What do you mean? That game one was hype. I just outplayed. I just did it. I hit the angle. You know how hard it is to hit that angle in box? Andrew, you're looking, you know. What's up? Let's go over what happened today. Okay. Seated to play piano for a bit. Didn't pan out. That's all right. Game First set, yep. you play against Ashley. You did it. That was a little closer. It was actually close, yeah. A close round one, surprisingly. Yeah, exactly. You beat me. Well I did. played. I did. Geo go oh, game five. Sure that was last talk, last hit. I remember. It was. I know. We actually played some netplay earlier today, oh. but um, yeah, I don't know. My bad. And I, then uh, the ferocity. You had him in your bag. Though. Yeah, that one I kind of figured out at the end there. There are times that neutral where he was just kind of guessing where you wanted to come in, yeah, and you, right. you look like a puppeteer. <laughs> He was, you were pulling the strings above him, mm -hmm. and he said, when your right hand goes, when I <laughs> lift my finger, your right hand will go up, and his right hand went up every single time. You could actually watch that you neutral. You could the, put classical, uh, Mozart, <laughs> Beethoven, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll, that it'll, wolf it'll guy move. name, <laughs> and dang Navit, you would have yourself some art <laughs> going on in that paper. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Honestly, uh, I, uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking about just like what neutral game looks like to me. And uh, it's been feeling different the last couple of weeks. Explain. What do you mean different? We don't got enough time. We don't have enough time, Joseph. We're, we're out early. It's before 11 o'clock. Dad's got to go to bed. I got to take the T.O. home. I don't have a ride. I got to take him home. No, I don't know. Uh, there's a couple things. It's Can I get a ride right home? <laughs> yeah, all right, right, all right, all right, all right. You get a ride home, too. It's not um, bubble theory, Goose. You can take down the setup, Kevin. I think you can take down... Uh, no, but from what Andrew said, it's essentially bubble theory for boxes. I mean, it's different. Like, I, I hope that Kalindi comes out with a video about it, about like what, uh, about what, the what hell is going on, dude. Just the way that he kind of explained this concept to me about like looking for specific options is detrimental to how you kind of see the game in general. Uh, and using like an analogy of like, okay, if we're in a fight right now. I'm not going to think, okay, I'm going to wait for you, Joseph, to throw a right hook at me. Because the whole time, like, what if, first of all, you don't throw a right hook at me, or you delay your right hook timing, or whatever. Um, so you can do, you know, a plethora of different things to mix it up. And if you kind of just play fluid, uh, <laughs> then 
I'd rather play unsure, man. That's what I learned today. Not today. Today, said, today was not unsure. Kalindi was saying this. KGH. Yeah. You two been talking? Thank you, KGH. Yeah, we've been talking about Did that. Did you say now. my 99 problems? No, thing? no. But I, I can now. I can now. No, I got 99 problems, but mid lane ain't one, apparently. Thank you, Kevin. Mid lane ain't one. It ain't one. I got one. It only took 99. So I'll see you at 188 or 198, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm due, I'm due around then again. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I, I this kind of bracket, it wasn't the most well. stacked one, but it was still, you know, yep. a pretty good one regardless. Mm -hmm. but Last question, I'm sure. Yep. Will we be getting pizza? Yeah, for next one, of course. We're getting pizza next time. Oh, my God. Pizza party mid lane? Yeah. We're mm -hmm. I don't know. Dad's got to decide. Jets. No, Dino. Mm, Dino. Jets, Jets is decent. Dima's overpriced. We'll talk. But Demos and I were bad blood ever since they kicked us out. That one oh. Demos, Ryder Pie. <laughs> so and that's we'll, we'll talk words about that. from the champion himself, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to the uh, thanks thanks to the the practice crew. You guys.